Welcome to No Fugazi Podcast. Yo, this is the pregame show. We're going to have fun. We got uh, five li- lovely ladies on the panel. We got my co-host today, my man Hollywood. Um, we're going to talk date and relationships and a lot of fun stuff. So let's start with the ladies introducing themselves. We're going to start here. Can I have your name, age, and where you're from? My name is Raina. I'm 29 and I'm from Brooklyn. Raina, can you put the mic a little closer right, to right, you? Right, right, right. Cool. Yeah. My name is Raina. I'm 29 and I'm from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Okay. Uh, how long you been living out here for? Um, Like seven months. Seven months. Yeah. Okay. So you fairly new out here. No. You in Allentown, Bethlehem? Where you I'm at? not fairly new. Actually, I used to live here like 10 years ago. I okay. went to Allen or whatever. Oh, so you went to school out here. And stuff. Yeah. Left, came back. Yeah. Word. Okay, cool. Relationship status? Single. Single. Nice. What do you do for a living? I'm a digital marketer. Digital marketer. Yep. Nice. And one fun fact about yourself. Um, there's many fun facts. So get one. <laughs> I'm sorry. I said, let me get one. A fun fact about yeah. me. Um, I'm very creative. I guess let's say that. I mean, you have to be to be a digital marketer. Yeah. yeah. You mm-hmm. have to be a little creative. <laughs> creativity is part of that. That is part of it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. And uh, we're gonna go along with uh, you. Can you just move the mic a little? There you go. That's good. Hi, I'm Russia. I'm Russia. Seven. Okay. From Brooklyn. Okay. Twenty-seven from Brooklyn. Uh, we got two been out here for. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. So you went to school in Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. So you really not from out here. No. You really from Brooklyn. Uh, I could tell from the eyes. <laughs> She got that. <laughs> they scream born and raised yeah, she Brooklyn. Got <laughs> she got Shit. that like a crackhead was around the corner. So <laughs> yeah. so I'm, I'm from there. Like, yeah. I'm from there. Like. Yeah, she from there. Um, relationship status? Single. Single. Okay. What do you do for a living? I'm a stripper. You're a stripper? Okay. Uh, stripper, like, you take off your clothes and dance on a pole, or do you strip when you go and take a shower? No, I get on a pole. Are oh, you on a pole? You're dancing. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh cool. my God. Um, fun Real, fact about yourself. Wait. Oh, you got a question? Real quick. Now, nah, now nah, we go now. Sure. I feel like we should ask them how long they've been single for. I feel like that's kind of relevant. We could do that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, how long you been single for? Four months. Four months. Okay. Seven. Okay, that's relevant. Mm-hmm. Let's go back to yourself. Seven. Raina. Just when you speak, yeah, put it right. Seven in. months. <laughs> Seven months. So yeah. it's about as she ran away from him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, she four, been here seven months. Seven. <laughs> you called it. Yo, damn. She's she smart. She got it. She got okay. it. Oh, she caught yeah, on. Yeah, right. all right. This yeah, is smart. I give intelligent you that. panel. <laughs> Active listening skills. I like that. So, uh, Russia, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, one fun fact about yourself. I love to swim. You like to swim? Mm-hmm. They got pools in Brooklyn? <laughs> that's a, yeah. that's actually a legit question. No, that is a, oh, a legit I have never yeah, seen a pool in New York unless it was on like okay. rooftop. Boys and girls clubs that are that open do? to the community. We have more things going on in New York than yeah. me. I got to get out exactly. more often then, I guess. And yeah. To the New York area. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. You like to swim. And what about yourself? You could just move the mic. Your, na- uh, your name and where you're from and your age. Okay. I'm Destiny. Um, I'm 23 and I'm from Florida, but I was raised in Tacoma, Washington. Tacoma, I Washington. Yeah, I you were I raised, so like all through high school? Yeah. Honestly, oh, okay. from, from middle school type shit. Like I moved around a lot, but that's where I call home. That's where you call home. Washington State. Washington State, Seattle. Dang. All the way over there. Mm-hmm. All the way. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Um, relationship status? Definitely single. How long? Um... Would you call a two month relationship? Because <laughs> I don't. Flings. So it depends if you do. Flings. Like, so wait, y'all was together for two months? Yeah. Uh, he was just was hitting it. Last, okay. So then two years. <laughs> two years. Two years. Okay. Actually, so I single. was hitting it. He was not hitting. It. I was hitting it. Correct. I, 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 Correct. I, 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 the a hammer hand, hammers mm-hmm, a nail mm-hmm. into the wall. So mm-hmm. if we're gonna speak if about I gotta it logically, teach you how to do some. I'm hitting it. Mm, nah, if he's inside of you, he's hitting. Ow, it. Are, are you sure? Are yeah. You sure? Okay. Listen, mm-hmm. hey, you know I'm just agree. I'm some, agree and yeah, disagree. I'm gonna agree and disagree. Yeah, he. I'll do that. I'll you were that still getting you. dominated, baby. Mm, yeah, it probably I, wasn't if, good. If you say so. But <laughs> he was still dominating. Okay. okay. I'll uh, make him feel better. And what do you do for a living? 
Um, I was a CNA, just stopped. I used to work at Synergy, so I was a hookah girl. But now I'm going to be going to school for psychology. Going to go back oh, to school for psychology. For psychology. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Um, one fun fact about yourself. Mm, I'm different. No, let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, like, I just, I just be doing shit. I like experiencing things, so I'm not really, like, one hobby type of... I got a lot of talents. You got a lot of talents. Name one of them. Mm, I like to sing. So I do songwriting. Like, I'm a ghostwriter for multiple people. Oh, word. Mm -hmm. You be ghostwriting. Mm -hmm. All right, Quentin Miller. <laughs> 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 so you ghostwrite. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, so you, like, rap or sing? What? Um, Both. It just depends. Because I'm not really a rapper, but I'm not I'm I was gonna say not spit really a bar. singer either. Like, mm. She freestyled. She freestyled earlier. No, she was freestyling. She earlier. was freestyling. <laughs> Cause okay. Yeah. Um, you had like one drink. If that. I, I'm a lightweight, that's why he told me to drink okay. some water. Okay. No <laughs> more drinks. We don't want her drunk. Um, moving on to you. Age, name, and where you're from. Hi, uh, my name is Marissa. I'm 29, born and raised in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Okay, Marissa, born and raised Bethlehem, PA. Mm -hmm. What high school you went to? I went to Liberty High School. Liberty Trash. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah. Freedom, yeah. Freedom Gang. Yeah. Freedom Put the camera gang. on me. Freedom Gang. <laughs> Back on me now. Freedom <laughs> Gang. <laughs> Throw it nah, but, uh, So, <laughs> what do you do for a living? So, um, during the week, I'm an esthetician. Um, I have my own suite. So I work for myself during the week. Um, and then on the weekends, I bartend. You bartend? What bar? Yes. Um, at Arts Quest in Southside Bethlehem, the event center. Okay. Oh, if you ever cool. been to a show or anything over there? Never been to one. Yeah, well, Never gotta, will, gotta go. Probably. Cool. Depends who's there. We actually have a lot of cool people go there. We had Big Sean there. French Montana. We had Snoop Dogg Big there. What? Yeah. Maybe so. you should go there. Go? You know Arts Quest? Ago? You know Arts Quest? It's the... Sands, right? Fest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sands. The big event center. Oh, that's so what you bought in that. The event center, yes. Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I've been there before. Okay, cool. I'll yeah. take that back. I said never will. Yeah. All right. Will again. Well, Who knows? Yeah. Uh, relationship status. Um, I am single. Single? Mm -hmm. How long? <laughs> um, I have been single. Uh, my last serious relationship was four years ago. When the last time you let a nigga hit no, I'm oh, I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, really answer that. Random question. Damn. <laughs> she said, oh, wait, another day. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm joking. I'm uh, sorry. So, a uh, fun fact about yourself. Um, fun fact. Um, I I'm I like to read a lot. It's really like nerdy, but I do like to read a That's lot. That's good. And what kind I, of books? So, what kind of books? Um, like the last book I read is called "What Is or What's Everybody Saying," and it's um by like this ex FBI agent. And actually, I suggest everybody would read it. It's really about like body language and just picking up on like you know people's body language and okay, so all that stuff and all of that type. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That was interesting. And here. With you, Bridget. Yes. Wait. Uh, name. If a, Wait, what? A name and where she from. And oh, we didn't stuff. do that? Nah. I thought she went. Dang, my bad. You better be happy I'm mm -hmm. here. See, mm -hmm. that's why he need a co-host. Okay. And it's like, yeah. it's pounded, She's Bridget. Correct me anyway. And that's for Archie. That's for Archie. <laughs> Archie. No, I'm sorry, Bridget. Uh, <laughs> your name, age, and where you're from. Okay. My name's Bridget, also known as Brigavelli. And... I'm Ooh, you I like that. that. Why you that talk. <laughs> I like that. Talk that talk. <laughs> and I'm a singer. You're a singer. Okay. Dope, dope, okay. Dope. That's what's Good. up. Um, where are you from? Um, right outside of Philly in Upper Darby. Nice. What do you do for a living? You, I know you sing. What I'm else? a recording artist, but my daytime job, I, it's a weird job. I'm like a, a broker almost for the broker. housing industry. Okay. Mm. Cool. Hey. Nice. Brother, broker for the car industry. Uh, relationship status. Single. Single, how long? It's been a little over a month. Mm. Okay. Mm. Seven year. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome back to outside. Okay, yeah, so well, it just ended. It just ended. Seven years. Yes. Yes. It's yeah. fun out how here. How do you figure she's still in a relationship? -E it was a little on and off, you know, so, you know, it had its a couple gaps, but yeah. now. So name one thing he did wrong in a relationship and one thing you did wrong in a relationship. Oh, this I hope early? you watch this. Um, <laughs> Damn. It is early. Um, okay, I'll start with just, myself. Because she's newly single, so. Okay, so thing, 
many things that I did wrong. I was, I definitely accused a lot and I was rightfully accusing, but <laughs> it's almost like I predicted things before they happened. Accused you know, him it's like of I cheating? lined him up for it. So, so accuse him of cheating, you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you were, know. were you right or? Yeah. Yeah. So that's something you did wrong? Okay. It's weird. It, I guess in a way, I almost like lined it up. I accused so much to the point that I like walked him into it. Maybe I'm um, I'm blaming myself for for that, but there were times where I was wrong. Okay, I That's guess so I, I guess what we get is maybe I I I just went too far sometimes with it. Okay, uh, like so when he wasn't. Him? And then, yeah, like, maybe. then you felt like in the beginning you was yeah. a little bit pressured, and then you pushed him away. Yeah, yeah, and then you okay. know, I also that is held a wrong. Because if she's wrong too. in the beginning, yeah, because I I held myself back a lot too, like held emotion, yeah. physical intimacy, and things okay. like that because of how much I felt that it was happening. So then it kind of led to it in the end. Okay. You know, it's just making the situation a little bit toxic I've when it. The opposite, and I could like kind of like take. I have two. When I've been someone, it make me go wanna fuck yeah. them. That's, like, and that's right, how so I think you it's true. Saying, I'm fucking this one. I'm gonna go yeah. fuck them now. That's right. And I yeah. have been on the opposite <laughs> side of it. Your wish has came true. Yeah. <laughs> like Keisha Cole, she said, I should have cheated. <laughs> That it's what you want, right? Your words are a spell. You yeah. brought it to I mean, life. It does have a psychology it into existence. play yeah. into it. If you're accusing someone and they didn't do something, like right now, if I say elephant, 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 sure. low key, I all have the image of an elephant in your mind. Mm -hmm. And invertedly. So, yeah, if you keep saying, like, oh, you cheating on this girl, sure. then you probably stepped out. Mm -hmm. So, I guess that's something you did wrong. Uh, I mean, what's something he did wrong? Cheated. <laughs> Okay, he cheated. <laughs> All right. But what would I say okay. he was going to do? Why do you think he cheated besides you accusing him of cheating? Why do I think? Um, yeah. Sheesh. Then we'll move on to the next question. I won't get on you no more. Why do I think? I don't know. I, maybe it's like a gut instinct and then I found what I was looking for. You go looking for something, you're going to find it. Like you're always going to find something, you know? Okay, so you think he was just always cheating and you just found it. Maybe it was, yeah. Maybe it just wasn't meant to be for us or maybe he okay. has a wandering eye. I don't know. Do you think I'll take it personal though. Do you think since he cheated, do you think he still loves you or yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so but In you broke way. up with him? Yeah. Okay, but he still loves you. Eh, just, yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, we love each other. Let's move on. Uh, sing a bar. Let me hear some. You're a singer. Uh -huh. Yeah, sing some. Okay. Ooh. Um. Hmm. You next. <laughs> Stop playing with me. Um, <laughs> one second. Right, take your time. <laughs> I'm going to clip it. I'm going to clip it and put it up. Make it sound good, too. So do your thing. I don't. Nobody watch me. Okay. 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 You're beautiful, though. We're going to look away. Either way. Oh, uh, women empowerment. I like that. <laughs> I went up to the mountain because you asked me to up over the clouds to where the sky was blue. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can see all around me. Everywhere I can see all around me. Okay, Everywhere. okay, okay, Bridget. <laughs> 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 Okay. Yeah, I thought she was play play. <laughs> she for real with it. She do this. On you you got some vocals on you. That's what's up. <laughs> Definitely got more than a little bit. Was that original? That's very good. Oh, that was, um, that's a song called uh, "Up to the Mountain." Okay. So it's a gospel song. Yeah, uh -huh. it, sound, it gave that gospel like that. spirit. Oh, that, well, he woke that. up. He like, oh, he's like, he's like a shot of my, shot of my praise the Lord. The spirit a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know? cool. Oh, Thank you for that, Bridget. Thank you. Uh, that was so we gonna get into Great the first job. question. Uh, <laughs> starting since you, you gonna start here with you. Okay. Name three countries. Three and countries. And you can't name the USA, United States of America. Asia, Europe, and Africa. <laughs> <laughs> you countries? Yeah, those continents. What do so, you mean? three okay. countries. Yeah, I'm a loser. And you can't. <laughs> so, everyone be quiet. Nah, you can't don't speak hear that. You can't speak a look. <laughs> so, name oh three countries. <laughs> and you can't. So, like, say you like next. Africa is a country. What do you mean a continent? No, 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 no. That's a continent. 
Africa is a continent. Three countries. Okay. Yeah. Countries so, Africa, like Nigeria is. No, no, don't country. say nothing. Don't say nothing. It's a history lesson because I need to learn. It's okay. It's okay. No. No. You're perfect. You're good. <laughs> yeah. I, really I did. Nah, nah. I, don't, I, don't, I want to say the same. Nah, we out here trying to embarrass people. Uh, We're not doing that. No, no, no. Just First three countries. You're fine. Okay, three countries. Yeah. Um, let's see. Syria. Yep. Um, let's see. Iberia and Nigeria. Okay, and okay. Miss Russia. <laughs> Get your cocos out. All right, Russia. Just move the home. move the mic towards you. Ain't Russia a country? Yeah, go ahead. Nice. That's one. So I'm going with my country, Russia. Beyond. I'm a stripper. I dated a broke nigga where he literally beat me up and took my money from stripping. Well, <laughs> you, that, that's what happens when you did a broke nigga. So, what's your ideal man? What do you want him to make? Is what I'm saying. My ideal man is my baby. Oh. Right, so, how much income? Baby. Uh, let me, baby. Uh, the baby, the yeah. I got you. All right, so let me help it's you out. His net worth is like what? Just ask specifics. 20? 20 million. Okay, so your ideal man is you want him to make 20 million. Nah, you don't gotta make 20 million. That's the thing. Like, okay. if you're going broke, I don't care. As long as I love you and I love that dick. Like, <laughs> but, it's, but it's ideal. Yeah. Like, no, no, ideal. If, like it's, thank you. No, no, no. Ideal. no, no, but no, no because no. he wants specifics no, no. is the reason why he's asking, the reason, he's yeah. the reason why he asks his questions. So what he mean by that is like, right. if you could. Specifics, that's the thing about life. Like, true. it's never going to be a guarantee. That's why it's called ideal, though. You know what ideal oh, means? Oh, ideal means this, not All right, I'm like a vampire has a boyfriend with 70K million dollars in his fucking... 70K million. <laughs> in his bank account. I've never heard of 70K million. This is ideal, right? We're talking about fantasy. 70K or 70 mil? Are we talking real life? All right, look, 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 look. One mic at a time. One mic at a time. So I'm going to speak to you, right? Listen to what I'm saying. You 50,000 a year? 100,000 a year. Ideal. So what's the minimum amount? What you make? Don't worry about what I make. <laughs> yes. Uh, so 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, half a mil, a million. What's your ideal man? What do you want him to make? A hundred mil a year. A hundred? I don't want to work. I don't like stripping. Okay. There we go. go. So you get a there, we there we go. There you go. All right, cool. Appreciate that. I, what's the, oh, this is Destiny. falling. Hold up. This is falling. Uh, it's tight falling. Hold on, what are you talking about? I got you, hold on. <laughs> Fix it. It's like on my shoulder, you feel me? Like it's laying on my shoulder. <laughs> right. Okay, I like it. See? Duh. Ideal man. Uh, height, race, income. Okay, Um, height, I would say at least six Two, at least six two. Okay. It gotta be. It gotta be over my first baby dad. So, and then you said race. race yeah. Mm, I don't date my kind. I tried it. Been there, done that. So what's your kind? Not, Puerto Rican. Hispanic in general. Hispanic. <laughs> I tried it. Been there, done that. It's not working. So I would say African American. Okay. Or, or. No, nah, there's no or. <laughs> there's no or. <laughs> <laughs> I gave everybody the benefit of the doubt, but it's yeah. not. No, that's I this tried. podcast is called No Fugazi. I want y'all to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, uh, over six to six to or over, mm -hmm. um, African American, and the minimum income. I would say um, at least at least fifty to seventy k. Fifty to seventy k. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. That's reasonable. I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. That's reasonable. Average. Nigga. Questionable. And uh, what about you, Marissa? Um, ideal man. Um, what are we starting off with? Height. Let's go with height and okay. race. Okay, height and race. Um, height. I like. I just like tall. I like tall. Sorry, they oh. gotta be tall. Okay, so, like, let's do a minimum. What's so the... like minimum six foot. Six foot. Like, okay. Sorry, that's just. I'm sorry. Whatever. Um, was your was your ex six foot or over? Yeah, he was six three. My uh, my daughter's father. Yeah, okay. he's six cool. three. So um, race. Um, nothing. I really don't have like an ideal or like type or anything like Asian? that. Um, <laughs> no, I haven't. No, I haven't. Why are you? But I just you want to date an Asian. Oh, no, I don't think I do. Is he? So it's it's a fact is he six three? I mean, yeah. so he could be a good looking Asian, right? Like, yeah, like yeah, Asian, it could be mixed. You know listen, what I mean? Listen. 
to to each their like everybody to each their own like what one person can think is like good looking or beautiful or like can find attractive like we somebody know else could yo idea of me yeah. oh uh i mean I, like I said, like literally, it just but you depends. No, the how. Asians. What about an Afghan? No, no, no. If an Asian, like, or I have guess, you ever been with an Asian? I have so not. I mean, been you with disqualified them. every Asian nigga that I've ever. No, approached just you. because I've never been with them doesn't mean it's disqualified. It doesn't. I just, yeah, I'm just saying, I've never. Mean. No, it doesn't mean that. All right. Because I. Be with Af- you ever been with Afghanistan I or like I don't, Indian? I don't think so. No. No. I don't know. They make a lot of money. You been with a black guy? Yeah. All right. And the white guy? Yes. All right, so that, those are your ideal. Let's go with that. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's more than just black and white and stuff like that. Yeah, but, but okay. you, you, you think about it. You've been on this planet for 29 years. Yes. And you've had guys approach you. Mm-hmm. And I'm sure you had Asians, you had black, you had white, you had Indians. Correct. And the only people that made it was black and white. No, Spanish people make it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you mix them to black and white, they pretty much Spanish. Well, what are you mix saying? them together. <laughs> That's how you make playing. rice and beans. That's what's <laughs> 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 And everything in between. It's fine. Yeah, I got <laughs> so, you. I'm with you. Uh, minimum income. Ideal men. What's the minimum amount you want him to make? Minimum? Um, honestly, at, at least as much as me. Like, at the least, as it has to match me. I work very, very hard. And okay. I, you give know. A, give um, a figure. So. Go to fans. You can know. Yeah. Uh, like a fi- uh Yeah. Mm, a yearly. Like. Or, I, or a monthly. Like a monthly. Um, yearly or monthly. Let's say like, let's just go with like 50K a year. That's like okay. pretty average. Cool. You know, I mean, or is, it, is it below? <laughs> it, no, it no, that's is. average. Yeah. Uh, uh, nah, what is it, it like 2023? Nah, nah, average, like, average, now, guys, average now yeah, is what, like 65, 70,000 a year. Oh, what, is bro? it? I don't know. What, I don't know. I haven't like but updated. Watch this, watch this. I got y'all right to now. Get I got y'all right now. It's 25 and under. It is. Oh, really? To be honest, most career jobs, so that's like starting starting pay is like 50K. Starting pay is like 50K. I, I, honestly, so that's I don't know. Only a I've been self-employed for three years. So <laughs> I have no idea. Those are jobs that are so, jipping people. No, that's cool. But, no, that's... I mean, that's... I mean, I, okay, honestly, though, but we can't stay the there. Can't, we can't stay there, though. Like, we gotta we gotta grow. Like, we can't we stay grow. there. So you don't at, want the guy to be at 50000 forever. You want him to grow. Correct. Absolutely not. No way. Yeah. Industry. And there's so much motives. more to life. And, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot. So Okay. Um, Bridget. Yes. Ideal man. Let's go with height and race first. Um, six foot and above. Okay. Um, African American. Okay. Plan for team. A hundred thousand. Hundred thousand. Oh, okay. Okay. She was. Th- th- thank you. I had enough she time to one. think about she it. Say she didn't have enough time. You had enough time. Hit her. So no. Uh, thank you for that, ladies. Now here's the next question. Starting with you, Bridget. So uh, your ideal man, six foot, black guy, 100K a year. Just to give some statistics here. So the average income uh, of a human being in America is $31,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So all of everyone, all the incomes everyone gave is your man would be above average. Um, The average height of a man is only 5'8". So all of you ladies said six foot or over. So um, you're looking for someone above average. Um, And then I think that's about it. So pretty much everyone ideal man in here is a guy of he's in the what? Maybe I would say 20 percent. Yeah, 20 percent. Yeah, because men... In the United States, men that's six foot and over, that's only 15% of the population. So, Wait, so, what? So, when, so I have a question. Right. Go ahead, Marissa. So um, you were kind of asking us our ideal man. Like yeah. everybody has an ideal, you know what I mean? Like yes. our, your ideal house, your ideal car. Mm-hmm. Um, um, like why are you throwing out all these facts about... Um, you know, if average person is five eight, like I think we all kind of said, like that's our ideal person. But we would, yeah. ex- I, I, we would definitely accept somebody if they weren't our ideal person. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? I don't. You'll, agree. The question was ideal. You'll accept them, yeah. but no. what's the probability that you'll respect them? No. A lot. That's mm. a huge. That's a, that's I, that's the other question. <laughs> so look, we'll so, get. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. So are you saying that if it's not our our ideal man that we won't respect them because I respected everybody that I've been with until they disrespected me. So they disrespected you? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, We're going to get into the next question. You went last, right? 
You no, know, no, you went first. The last you asked one. Asked her about um, her ideal man, and you started getting into the deep. What's your ideal woman? We'll get into that. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll start, we'll you start said with like the average. He's way his ideal. Yeah. I just I gave the statistic just so y'all could be aware. So yeah. I could let y'all let all of you ladies know that your ideal man is, is above, above average. average. That's all I want. High value man. Oh, okay. So now Obviously. this because the next question is gonna follow up. So your ideal man, what do you think that he wants in you? Um, That's weird. What does he want to see in me? What does he want in you? I mean, mm, he wants physical intimacy okay. constantly. All right. Probably to be taken care of a bit, you know, like the nurturing side that a, that a woman is supposed to be. Yeah. Um, and it seems like at this point to be as financially stable as him. Men aren't really in a position at this time to fully take care of the household anymore. So it's like, Seems to be a little equal at this point. Well, it seems like what the your ideal is. man making a hundred thousand dollars a year. I think that's I think that's enough. Yeah. That's definitely care. enough to take care of household. I agree. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's enough to take care. That's of a household. mortgage. It would be. It's yeah. way more than enough. Yeah. It's, so you it think is. that he'll want that in you? Yeah, I mean, I put I put that out there because it's comparable to myself. Okay. I mean, besides African American, I'm white, obviously, but financial stability. I mean. So, okay. Cool. Well, you got anything for that? <laughs> so, your man will want you to be financially stable enough for both of them? No, just that what he brings to the table that I should probably also... Equal out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to save it for you cool. Think, so, let me just give you... Your <laughs> ideal man is actually in the... Like, he's in a 5% because he's over six foot. He's making $100,000 a year mm-hmm. and he's black. So... <laughs> Yeah, on top of that. that's he's in the top five percent. Yeah, ten. I would say ten between ten and five percent. So let's just say ten percent guy. So you think that ten percent man is really going to care about like how much money you make? Because the question is, what do you think that he wants in you? Not what you want in you, but like what does he want in you? Okay. Yeah. I think everything else you said that was pretty was pretty on point. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So I guess going back to that, then the nurturing factor to take care of the household. Word. You know. Um, yeah, I think that answers it. Yeah, I think that. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. We what can about you, that. Marissa? Yeah. Um, I think that um they definitely would want you to be um, you know, kinda like their safe place. If that makes sense for anybody. Um, I don't know. Everybody wants somebody you can like go home to and just have a safe place to be for sure. And like a um safe what place? Yeah. Uh, do you mean like peace? Yeah, yeah, okay, like peaceful. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's a good exactly mm-hmm. a gr- great way to put it. Mm-hmm. Um obviously like take care of things. Mm-hmm. And I'm with you. Like I'm sorry, but like in the long run, I don't want to work. I want my my man to take care of me. Yeah, nothing's so, wrong with that. That's, right? No, I I, I want to be taken care of and yeah. like in return, I will like give you a great home, family, like okay. everything like that. You know what I mean? Okay. So, yeah. Good. I think it's a good answer. <laughs> uh, let's go with <laughs> Destiny. 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 Tired of y'all already. <laughs> um, what do you think that your ideal man wants too. in you? Um, for me, like from I, I'm gonna speak from experience because uh, let's speak from because sometimes sometimes your experience perspective can be a little. Let's do both. Like use your both. okay yeah. So be logical. Use your experience and use your like what you see out there. <clears throat> what do you think the ideal man wants in you? Um, I don't really know the more professional word for it, but to be more calm. Okay. Um, so no ratchetness. <laughs> No, nah, it's the that. opposite of because I didn't say that coolly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. What else? Um, I would say. Damn, that's really it. Calm. Um, maybe to to probably be equal with them because I don't need a man that makes the most money in the world. I just need a man to respect me. So as long as you respect me, I'm gonna respect you. So. I would say I would say respect regardless of the disrespect. Because uh, a man honestly doesn't want you to disrespect them because a woman will go all out. A man will just disrespect you because of the wants of, you know, whatever okay. he wants. So. That makes sense. So you're pretty much saying that even if he disrespects you, 
you're mm-hmm. not going to disrespect him yeah, in return to like for right. revenge or to get him back to get even. Right. And I would say that's what a man cool. and a woman wants because I want that for myself too. I don't want to have to go out my way to disrespect you and waste my time for that when I already wasted time being with you. Let's just say loyalty. Yeah. yeah. You'll be loyal to him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, a what third else? one. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That was good. I don't know. I don't know what would what would a man want in me? Yeah, what does your I, ideal that man want? I don't want already in you? want in me. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's not about what you want. I know. Make you ladies think today. And you don't gotta. I would be say right. I would just, say to yeah. to think? dress more. What's it called? Con- controversial. Well, conservative. 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 That's the word. I was, to say I was con- on the right track. It's conservative, it's ladies conservative. and gentlemen. Okay. We got you. We on the same team. Because right. I, I dress how I want, but I also like I dress how I feel. So if I if I'm feeling hot, I'm dressed with less clothes. Hell yeah! <laughs> you, know I mean? so like, you look good, girl. You thank you. I appreciate you it. Go, I appreciate girl. it. <laughs> okay. I dress I dress how I feel and how I want, and I feel like a man. You know, for certain women, especially if you look good and you know your man knows that other niggas, other men look at you, like he might not want you to dress a certain way because he knows other men are going to look at you and he doesn't like that. He doesn't like that type of heat because he knows that you can have any man that you want. Got you. So are you single right now? I'm sorry? You said you're single, right? Yeah. Are you like dating? I'm not dating. I'm (laughs) seeing. You're seeing? Seeing, gotcha. I mean, we go on dates sometimes, but I'm so, still seeing. So, so shouldn't like you said you want the one of them you said like more mod dress more modestly, mm-hmm. dress more conservative. Sh- don't you think you should start dressing like that now so you can yeah. attract your ideal I've, man? I've definitely like been going into that type phase, but I'm not fully there. You can't just jump into that. You yeah. feel me? Like you have to, you have to feel it out. You have to feel what type of clothes that you like wearing outside of your comfort zone, or not really outside of comfort outside of your comfort zone yeah. but outside of what you usually wear so it's like I got a feel for what I actually want to wear compared to what he would want me to wear okay cool who has gum in their mouth who gotta go to the bathroom middle mother Russia okay you wanna you wanna do your ideal man no let's I do mean, it alright so in 2023 I feel like the ideal meal well means- not uh, what do you think that your ideal man wants in you and speak in the mic for me please thank you Appreciate I can speak because my ideal man, man yes. is my baby father. And he wants me to be a housewife and not wear the things I wear and okay. not do what I do, even though I met him in the fucking strip club. You met him in the strip club and he want to get you out of the strip club. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I mean, that make, you, I can explain that to you, but you go ahead. So you mm-hmm. said uh, dress more modestly, not be in a strip club. What else? What else is your Stay ideal? Stay at home. Stay at home. Clean cook. Clean cook. Okay. Valid answer. Stay inside. Stay inside. No social life. Yeah. And I'm more of a, like, I grew up with my father. I didn't grow yeah. up with my mom. I'm more of a boy. Like, I'm outside. I be on the streets. Yeah. I like to get to it, you know? I feel you. I like to hustle in multiple ways. So it's like, I can't stay in a house. So, so Not you, my thing. So you think your ideal man will want you to be outside like that? He is my ideal man. I'm telling you what he wants. He's my. So why y'all not married? Cause he, I don't want to do that. I'm an outside wanna do it. body. Like yeah, I gotta make my own money. I can't. I can't take uh-huh. your money and wait uh-huh. on you for to buy me things. You don't I gotta make my own shit. I gotta be able to do what yeah. I, I want to do it. Like I don't move on niggas' time and like. Yeah, pretty I much you're saying you don't want to change for him. Yeah, you want to do your own thing. It's not that I don't want to change because yeah. I'm 27. Yes. I'm already. I already know who I am. I'm not 16. Where it's like, all right. Okay, I could be this person or I don't even yeah. know who I am yet. No, I know who I am. I know where I want to be. I know what's up with me. I know that I don't work with this crowd and I work with this shit. Yeah, yeah. Just, I know me like So but, so you're you have the opportunity of having your ideal man, which I'm pretty sure most women will love, I'm just saying. I, but you refuse because you're not I, ready I to take years, that in. And that man put me in jail. I never heard of a man putting a girl in jail. <laughs> Okay, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. All right, so um, you're pretty much, you described your ideal, you described what your ideal man wants in you. Cool. And let me describe him. He's gangsta with a little bit of like class and a little like. Does he meet those standards? A lot of money. How much does he make a year? Does he make over 100K or no? Oh, wait, okay. So my baby father's dad was in the military and he died, so he inherited a lot of money. Okay, cool. So he has money. He meet the standards. He meet all the standards. He got money, he got the height. He live in Makunji, y'all. And he black. Yeah, okay, cool. Fuck, so he like make the, the mic. 
He meet the standards. That's what's up. So he if you want your him. ideal man, you don't. It's hard. I know who I am. I can't. I tried to change myself and it drove me you insane. So I literally, him. I'm not gonna front y'all. I don't know none of y'all besides Destiny. I literally put myself in a mental hospital trying to change myself for a nigga. Like I like couldn't do change. it. Like that change. That change. We'll get into that. Do it. We'll get into that. I'll let you go to the bathroom since you gotta pee, oh, and then we'll hop into it. Though. You gotta go to the bathroom. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Let me sit. Yeah. Let's out. take a quick break. Jay. We we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Let's cool. One mic at a time. Mm -hmm. Let's have fun. Uh, we started with a question with you, and, she ended. and we pretty much end it with you. Yeah. So we're gonna go on to you. So everyone describe their ideal man. Um, now the question is, what do you think your ideal I man? I didn't. I didn't describe. No, she described. No. 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 Oh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Describe your. You described your ideal man. No, I didn't. Yeah, I mean, the said, whatever reverse. it is. Yeah. What, yeah the reverse That's what we were coming out. The reverse one. one. Yeah, so now the question one. is, what do you think your ideal man wants in you? To be honest, um, it's a broad question because every man is different, and um, I feel like. Um, if you match his energy, whatever it is that he's looking for, you know what I mean? Um, that's what's really important. I don't think that there's any specificality. You could be whoever you are as a person, unique, right? Different. Mm -hmm. Like, if they like you, they like you. If they don't, they don't. Like, and that's how I feel. Okay, so um, normally, so a man holds the key to a relationship. Mm -hmm. A woman holds the key to sex. Yeah. Right? So in order for a man to get sex, he has to know what a woman wants. So no, this not ideally. So we could we could disagree with that because and I'll explain to you in detail. Okay. So women hold the key to sex. Disagree. Okay. If you don't have if you don't want to have sex and a man has sex with you, that's great. So you hold the key to it. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. So women hold the key to sex. Yeah. Great. So if you uh, every guy in this world, in order to have sex, we have to know what the woman wants. Yeah. Make obviously. sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are guys having sex out here and they're obviously knowing what the woman wants. Exactly. So what I'm asking you is that what do you think that the man that you want wants in you? Because guess what? Yeah, you ha he has to do what he has to do to, to get sex. Yeah. But you have to do what you have to do to get a relationship. Yeah. So what mm -hmm. do you think that he wants in you? Um, specifically <laughs> to be honest I feel like very specifically <laughs> I feel that they want to see someone that they can have a future with um, someone that they can build with and a woman who's goal oriented who knows exactly what she wants um, I feel like on like the opposite viewpoint I've experienced people um, where they ideally don't know what they want and that's unattractive. So when a, I date a man or whatever and he's like, I, yeah, I'm going with the flow, this, that, and the third, for me, it's like, yeah, that's not for me. So a woman who knows exactly what she wants, the ideal for man, the ideal man for me is the one that knows that I know what I want. So that's not the question. That mm -hmm. is the so, question. Wait, 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 real quick. Real quick, too. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. So you can understand, right? Yeah. I need... You ladies understand that I'm not speaking about you. I'm speaking about the man. So take, stop looking in the mirror and putting it on you and mm -hmm. look at what that man wants, right? So it's a guy out there. But every guy is Listen, different. Listen, let me finish. It's a guy out there and he has a type of woman. Yeah. So yeah. your ideal man, you described him. So think about it. You described him. He's six foot, 50 to 70 K. Yeah. Black. That's this guy. No, nah, so not 50, of thinking, above 70. 70K. Mm -hmm. Above. S above 70K. So stop thinking about what you stop thinking about what you want in yourself. Think about what he wants in you. Make it sense? depends. Like, come on, like, let's be realistic. We're living in a generation where there's just different people out there. Honestly. And to put it into perspective, like me, I'm the type of person that yeah. Like I'm ambitious. I have a lot of goals. I okay, got so businesses. Like I have a businesses. lot, a lot going on. So the ideal man for me is the one that's gonna appreciate me, support me. So you're still bringing it back. With yourself. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not yeah. the ideal man for you. Yeah, the so, ideal man. That's the ideal man no, in my no, no. mentality. So, listen, listen. Am I wrong? It's the English language. I'm gonna nah, say it really yeah, slow. Nah, Look, like, I'm gonna say it really slow. Nah, we're not what generalizing. Think, no, no, look, I'm look, look. specific to the man, the ideal man that I pictured for you, 70K above six feet, right? I said, that th right? That's the man that I yes. want. That man is going to support me 
and understand me and do whatever it is that you know what I mean. Oh, That's yeah, the you, ideal man. Right, so, so I don't understand. <laughs> I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm gonna say it one more time and just listen. Please <laughs> listen to understand instead of listen to respond. But I think you are. But I think I'm gonna try to speak it a little clearer. Maybe you don't understand me. I understand you. So because you're not, you, you're still bringing it back on yourself. No, I'm not. Ye- it's about me, isn't Selene. it? So what kind of question? Isn't <laughs> so, it about me? Yeah. It's n- it's isn't not it about, about me? No, it's, no, not, it's about not about you. It's, it's about, about the ideal man that it's not I about painted. You. So pretty, so pretty right? much, <laughs> pretty much it is. Like pretty yeah, much right? it. It depends, but I'm saying like every yeah. man is different. You're you're not you're, true. Yeah, I'm true. saying, but, but can, uh, to this thing. What, Go ahead. what does the ideal man? So the ideal man for you. What do you think that he's gonna want from you? That's, that's what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Someone yeah. who's I am. Yeah, not what not he wants. You all the stuff that you think that he wants. But that's you. what I'm saying. So the ideal man for me wants an ambitious woman. Wants everything woman. that you think. Yeah, an ambitious. Okay, so he wants a woman which is very true. Reason. Which is very true. Like, so, that's wait, 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 time out. That's a very <laughs> narcissistic statement to say. So think no, about now it. it's narcissistic. No, well, no, think about this, right? So you're saying that your ideal man. No, I don't understand. Listen, listen. You're saying that your ideal man. You saying forget what he wants, whatever I want, and no. that's what I want him to want in me. No, yeah. that's, that's literally what, what you're he saying. Wants. The ideal man wants an ambitious woman. I'm not saying that okay, that's well, what I so want. So we're just him gonna to go what me. you say now. All right. So you think he wants ambitious? What else? He wants a goal oriented right, woman. Go oriented, goal oriented. What else? Yeah, and then someone. One more. <laughs> and someone who's gonna bring to the table exactly what he brings to the table. Okay. All right. Cool. So is that a wrong answer? No. No. That now my I'm ideal let man you wants rock. those things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna Do let y'all rock. not want those things? No. <laughs> so, I'm gonna let you rock. Like they I, so, no. 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 The no, crazy right? thing is, I said this. I said this on the last time I was here. But I don't mind it. Man is different, mm-hmm. and you're entitled. I don't mind it. I don't mind a goal oriented female. I don't mind that. But you that. could. You could be entitled to whatever it is that you want. But it's just the question. Beholder. So whatever that person, whatever you admire, is not what the next. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. You want something different entirely from each one of these. Men's in here, like no, no, it, it is. No, so don't. Don't. What does the ideal man you think want about it. in a woman? So, so one mic at a time. I'll explain to you, mm-hmm. ladies. Since everyone went around, now I'll just give you some logic here. So everyone not is pretty. Logic. All men, we're simple creatures. Men is very simple. We're not hard to figure out, like ladies. Mm-hmm. Ladies, love me. I'm just gonna talk about ladies. When your ideal man, you all listed three things, but even within those three things. It's a list of other things he got to meet. He got to be charming. He got to be charismatic. Yeah, he got to yeah, be swag. You got to feel the vibe when you speak to but him. But that's not what you asked. Multi- no, you no, no, no. You asked a general question. Hey, hey, one mic at a time. I'm going to let you rock. But I'm trying to give you a perspective here. Ladies have a... Each woman, in order for you to really take a guy seriously, for him to... For you to give up sex, because women hold the key to sex, there's a list of things he got to check off. So what I'm saying is that there is a list of things that... You have to check off to get a relationship, not to get sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what obviously. I'm saying. So within those list of things, we don't care about your income. That's facts. We yeah. don't care. It's not on our top it's, list at all. It's not. Really. We don't care about your career. Mm-hmm. I don't no. care what you do for yeah. your career. You could, you could work at McDonald's. It doesn't it, really matter. It's very true. Um, we don't want you to have any promiscuous past if we're going to take you seriously. So I'm sorry, Russia, Mother Russia. Uh, wait, can but, I? Uh, oh, oh, can I'm I rocking, Mother Russia. That? I'm rocking. Let me rock. Then I'll, I'll give the mic to you. We don't want no woman to have any promiscuous past. So sorry, Mother Russia. You on a stripper pole? We probably not gonna wife you up. That's so those true. that's Somebody in is. general with all ideal men. We all want a soft, feminine, submissive, dutiful woman. Just you're you you gave the best answer, actually, Mother Russia. Your baby father, what he wants, we all want. All right, but what I'm saying though, like what you want is not what. LeBron James want with all these. We other all want, want the same thing. They care about their women incomes. You no, they don't. Look, no, you, they mean don't. you mean it's you mean you mean it? Wait, talk about Mother, Mother Russia. Mother Russia. Mother Russia. Girl, that don't got no Le- job. LeBron no, James. Is Mother is Russia. Russia. LeBron James is a billionaire. You think he exactly. care? You think he care about he how cares. much you, you make though? He's not about to date no bitch that don't got no. Cribs. Why not? <laughs> Why not? He got it for. I could buy you four cribs. Speaking of mic, we can't hear you. I want. No, this is a debated. No, but that's cool. But if I'm really wrong and y'all thinking like the men y'all are on yourselves 
You're thinking as a man as yourself. Let's generalize. Right. All the other men. Exactly. Oh, there's multiple men in here. Donald Trump is not dating no random ass bitch. All right, time out, time out. Time, time out, time out. What do that Donald... What, own billions. Time, time out, Shay. Shay, what do Donald Trump wife do then? Donald Trump wife is, is a nobody. She, she literally... She, she ain't she no more. She's she 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 not no more. At first. She's an entrepreneur. But she's not no trailer trash ass bum that was sitting in the trailer park. That's a far extreme. Fighting people. No one's saying the trailer park. Okay, so they have... They have standards. Do, like, Just like you have standards, they have okay. standards. They're not taking no <laughs> random little huh? nobodies. Like, mm. yeah, she's a nobody, yeah. but she's not a nobody where it comes you to do. income. She <laughs> had her own shit going. She's not no trailer girl from PA, okay. Allentown. I'll help, I'll help you out with your thoughts soon. She's from Yugoslavia. Exactly, though. She's Russian. She had nothing. She had nothing. But nothing. That, but she's not a trailer and a park mic, Allen t- Allentown girl. <laughs> like, you feel me? She wasn't in the clubs shaking ass and she want to come at me for shaking ass. I didn't come at you. <laughs> you did. Ru- no, I just said Ru- that. Russia. I just, I'm just like, exactly what your baby father wants, that's what we all want. <laughs> that's what he was looking for in the strip club. That's how I met him. Yeah, no, what I'm saying nah, is that nah, obviously nah, he wants nah. you that's off the pole, what you said. Nah, yeah. that's he wants you to Because when he cheats on me, guess where he go to? The bitches that be shaking but ass yeah, that's on Instagram. Sex. Guys that have sex with anything. That's a fact. Just, they'll have sex with a hole. It so could be a brick wall. Sex with they put a hole in it. If it's smooth enough, so you have sex with anything? If me? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm you're speaking in guys. general. No, exactly. I'm speaking in general. You're part of the general of guys, the male species. No, it don't, don't matter. matter. We're generalizing well, we for men. I mean, even... Well, 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 we're going to generalize <laughs> for men. As men, a collective. Men don't yeah. care about... Listen, if I listen, if I pulled up to McDonald's with a Lamborghini right now, and I walk into McDonald's, and I see something in there that's... I what? You think I'm going to be like, nah, you know what? I ain't even about to wife her because she no, worked at McDonald's. I'm going to be able to take her and do... She has... I you could do whatever she wants. You got a million dollars. You're not about to find you a don't believe on the that. Yeah, Are you serious? So, so how many... I don't think you're going to be a wife, though. Well, one mic at a time. Ask can this. I, how can many I, celebrities... Next? I got you. Celebrities, do they date others? How often do you see celebrities date other celebrities? If that's your answer, then. They do. Uh, how lot. often? A lot? Yeah, Very often. A lot. I mean, uh, all right, let's... Uh, let's, uh, let's right? A lot, though? Yeah. So let's put it into perspective. An actor... Who do they date? An actor, a singer. Who do they date? Wait, majority? let me finish. Let me finish. Majority of them, you don't know. Now we're not talking about Rihanna and ASAP. That's the situation. Name another one. Uh, you got Will Smith and his wife. Jada. And you got. Okay. You okay. Got, so you. So let me just interrupt real quick, just to give you a, a reality of this. You can't use celebrities, is because celebrities have an incentive to date another celebrity is because mm. if I'm dating, if I'm a celebrity, if I date, a, if I, if I'm dating a girl that's off the streets, then I don't know if it's genuine. So I'll mm-hmm. rather date another celebrity because I know that is genuine attention. So that's mindset. Not real. You get what I'm saying? Why do you feel like genuine? Because she's a so celebrity. Do do no, 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 uh, get over me, uh, you know. Uh, but now, but now we're, mm-hmm. but now we're, we're not. No, no, now not we're, make their own money. It's like men is different. Like think about it, right? Just to get more, don't cut me off, because <laughs> people keep cutting me off. Celebrities, when they date another celebrity, they do it because it's it's an incentive to date that other celebrity because. One, they're not going to be, it's the, the probability, like this isn't a man, the probability is lower that they're going to get me too the probability is lower that they're going to get finessed, the probability is lower that they're going to really know, well, it's it's higher that they're going to know that there's genuine intention mm-hmm. and you're not just trying to get one over on me. Mm-hmm. So okay. that's celebrity. So you it's, it's not good to use celebrities. Oh, talking I about regular individuals, right? Regular okay. individuals dating. Speak about that. Don't speak about celebrities. I'll no, let you rock. Go yeah, ahead. go ahead. So when we're talking about regular individuals, yeah. we cannot say these aren't regular human beings. Yeah, bro, so they just, all just, got <laughs> just all right, just because now, now now we're talking now we're getting in the topic about money, but regardless of the matter, they have whatever they desire in their heart, regardless of the money. Now, can I say that do I want someone to to take advantage of me? No. Do I want someone to win over on me? No. 
So just those same qualities that you mentioned about celebrities, those are my same things that I expect too. Okay. What makes me different? I'm not a celebrity. Cheated, cheated. So I think but but okay, I but their relationship right. dynamic is very different. So okay. let's let's you know what I mean? Like that's why we gotta broaden our minds and understand that every situation is different. You can't just put your perspective on everybody. Like we're living in a different generation and we gotta accept that. You feel me? So at the end of the day, you know, like I have those same morals and values that I don't want someone to take advantage of me. So if I'm going to expect a guy, I want someone that's going to meet my energy. You okay. feel me? So if the girl at McDonald's meets your energy, then she meets your energy. It don't matter what it is that she's doing. That's the, that's what I'm trying to uh, say. Well, we're just trying to tell you exactly. stars and align. Yeah, exactly. yeah that's fine. That's fine. Exactly. That means it's a girl at McDonald's. Exactly. Was, if it was a random bum on the street, y'all gonna go up to them and be like, oh yeah, I like you. You got some spice for you. Let me take you home. <laughs> oh my. So on the street, we're changing the I, cut. Like, yo, let me what I'm trying to t- what I, You gonna holler going at to the with extremes. the business that you got? They're what I'm trying to straight. tell you guys is generally men don't care about a female's income. Yeah. It's not something when we be like, all right, what, let me think about the girl I want. She got to at least even make know money. Got she got to do this. Said we don't know. We got into shit. income. That's why we. That's why I brought yeah, this, this up. This conversation was. This conversation was got into income is because yeah. Mother Russia. <laughs> yes. Said that. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> niggas do care about a female's income. Da, 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 da. We don't. No. We do no, not. We do I mean, not. No, they Yo, don't. Scammers, okay. businessmen, they, sugar daddies, like they do. It's not no. So how don't. you get a sugar daddy if you make more money than him? He don't make more money. I so don't he don't care. So he don't care about your income. But he's not about to go to some bum just on the street with a club. Microphone, please. Yeah, you got he's okay. not about to go to no bum okay. on the street with a club. Okay. So that's begging for change. Before I go, I'm not even gonna go yet. I know you want to speak, so go ahead, rock out. So. So kind of what feeds both opinions and aspects is that like say if a if a businessman they might be looking for somebody that's going to bow down to them. They don't want a businesswoman. So they're going to go to somebody that's easier mm-hmm. that works at McDonald's. If they want a businesswoman, they're going to go to CEO type, you know, type shit like deals and meetings and events. Yeah. If a woman wants a businessman, they're going to go to the, those type of events too. If they want a person that's going to bow down to them, like a nigga that's really just going to do anything that they want, they're going to go to McDonald's. They're going to go that, to that type shit. And that's just what you know an average person is thinking. They might not say if you go to McDonald's and they actually want to be a CEO. You don't know that. You got to get to know them. So in all aspects, it's, it's down to the point to what the woman and the man wants. Okay, cool. Marissa, you mm-hmm. have some? Yes. Um, I just oh, want to say <laughs> that I don't... Um, I, this is... I don't... Um, sorry, let me find my words real quick. Yeah, I down. just don't think that... This is a little off topic, but I don't... Uh, there's a difference between rich and famous just because celebrities are famous doesn't mean they're rich. And I know a lot of rich people that are not celebrities. Yeah. Just throwing that out there. So mm-hmm. I don't think we should be associating celebrities with a lot of money because uh, some celebrities really don't have any money. One percent of everything. Mm-hmm. So a man like me, we're not going to we don't prioritize a female's income. OK, but you cut me off because I was going to say I agree. I do not gotcha. think that men, uh, maybe not all men, care about uh the women's income because I, I know for real because speaking from experience um, like when I was not making that much money and I didn't have like my own business yeah. and all that stuff I was dating somebody who made a lot of money and he didn't care he, didn't wanted, care. To, he wanted to take like, care of me as long as I provided exactly. for him well, yeah exactly. how many exactly. broke girls do you see on millionaire like, yachts True. And getting flown out. True. Like, think, think about it. Like, I'm flying you out. You don't have to have money. <laughs> yeah, like, seriously. It's all the time. It's exactly. all the time. So, so men don't saying, care. We don't time care. out mm-hmm. is not attractive. Isn't symmetrical It's asymmetrical yeah. We don't see rich girls Flying niggas out It just doesn't happen It, don't happen. it happens the other way around So I mean, sorry you ladies see it. You're incorrect no, no, not me I said yeah, I agree You, you never know it is I might have that money For the dick You never know yeah, I don't know I Mother mean, Russia was You don't know that We don't know about The statistics Because maybe it's not What do you know then That's what we're saying We don't A broke nigga Yeah we don't see it But just because you don't see it That doesn't mean It's not happening So let's come on You never know Come, no, you you do know. It's a it's a lot happening out there. Generally speaking, right? 
exceptions don't make the rule. So of course there's a cougar that's mm. 45 paying for some 23 year old to come see her, fly, fly him out. Yeah. Of course that's out. But think about the percentage. It's like less than 1%. You, you don't know I'm that. Saying? So it's insignificant. No, it's, it's insignificant. It doesn't matter. I do know that because you, you think, do you see it happening? I'm a guy. We speak to multiple guys. Mm. I coach men for a living. I coach women for a living. It just doesn't happen like you're thinking. So okay. think about this, right? And I'll just just to give some a quick not a rule, but so you don't look silly on a podcast. The world operates in generalities, right? Everything operates in generalities. For example, I'm sorry. For example, uh, parking lots, right? Why you think there's only four handicapped parking spots and there's two hundred regular parking spots? Because most likely there's not going to be most, most likely, likely there's, there's not, not gonna going to be a lot, be a of, lot handicapped. of handicapped people. So they're going to make more. Regular parking spots and just a few handicapped parking spots. So everything more operates like that. So since we're speaking, right, I want everyone to keep that in mind so you don't say things and you look silly on the podcast. That's more personal. Yeah, yeah. Not in a personal way. Because like literally when you're saying that, oh, yeah, dudes like girls and this like, well, no, no dudes is flying a girl out. No, I no, mean, no, no women are, no women is flying a dude out. No woman is taking care of dudes like that. And if she is taking care of a dude, the probability is extremely high that she doesn't respect them. The probability is extremely high that she's going to lose attraction for him. The probability is extremely high that she's going to break up with him and she's going to leave him because he's a broke bum nigga. <laughs> and you all ladies know that because you don't want no broke bum nigga. Keep right, it G. I sure so, don't. So, 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 don't give a shit. So real quick, explain to him how you feel mm-hmm. when women date and we date. And you could get into the terms of that because that's very true. What do you mean? Like women don't date down. They usually date either at their stature yeah, or Yeah, so hypergamy. That's the, that's the word. So yeah. all ladies is hyper, hypergamous. No, y'all know what that means? Not all no, ladies. Tell me, tell me the definition. Okay. Definition. No, it's, exact it's, definition. I got you. It's all in... All. Not all ladies. No. No, 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 no. Uh, not all. We're speaking in general. Uh, let's be... Let's be... No, no, no. Let's be, so, I, I want to hear because this is part of psychology. No, we're going to get into specifics here. Because not all ladies. And let's be real. All women are naturally... Hypergamous. Now, whether if they operate in their hypergamy, not all women operate in their hypergamy. Okay, now but we're specific. The Thank majority you. of women operate in hypergamy. Now, hypergamy just means that women prefer to date either across. Well, they they want to date across, but they prefer to date above in mm-hmm. social hierarchy statuses. So they want a man that's better than them mm-hmm. in all regards. They want them more competent. They want them taller. They want them stronger. They want them, you know, to make more money than them or the same. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's just. Do, y'all agree? That's what y'all I, want. I, I so now, so now, okay, now, but look now, at the now, general. I, I hate to be the devil's advocate, but, but to be up. honest, like. Come you're, on. you're about to do exactly what I said not to do because you're going to look silly right now. No, I'm not because, like, I'm... You were the man that made 70K. That's but above that's, average. That's mine. That's me. Can I say something? Yes, yeah, I do. I got you, Bridget. But I got you. that's me, but... To be honest, I feel like we need to embrace everybody. We can't just sit it's, here no, and no. So, just so, 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 zone in. So, Raina. So, yeah, Raina. Yeah, Kev, Kev, Kev. Because they can't even hear you. So, I got you. But, Raina, it's not a, we're not speaking about what should be. We we do know, you know, I, I, I wished, you know, my girl and every other girl I had in the past and every girl these niggas had, that they would just love us for us. But guess what? No, we got to perform. We got to get out there, get in the gym, make more money, become more competent, become the best version of ourselves to attract you women. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're going to mm-hmm. have a higher probability of success of getting women if we work on ourselves. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? You'll respect mm-hmm. us more and we'll respect ourselves more if we work on ourselves. Mm-hmm. So that just is what it is. But how it should be, uh, yeah, I wish I could be lazy and my shorty could still love me. But no, I can't be lazy. Mm-hmm. I, can't the, be a, the, I can't play PlayStation all day. And, uh, you know, there, she's, there are guys out there like that. And how long does it last? Yeah, it obviously, it doesn't no, last don't long. Last, I'm, but I'm sorry, I gotta go to, I gotta go to yeah, no, uh, go ahead. Bridget. Go ahead, Bridget. Um, I do agree with everything that you're saying. I feel, Me personally. Wait, who's saying with your what you're saying? Okay. Sorry, I didn't make eye contact. Know. No, you're fine. I do, and I do feel like I operate like that. I always look for you know a lateral move or an up move. And nothing is wrong with that. It's but natural. I've always, I for some reason I've always taken care of a man. Like I've always been in a position where I'm the one taking care of this motherfucker. Can I please like, say something? 
it's crazy to me at the point that I've like accepted it and fallen in love and been heartbroken, even though I know where my standards are. So I get what you're saying because that, yeah. that is a real thing. I've always mm-hmm. wanted better for them, but not because it attracts me more. It's because I want them to be the best version of themselves, you know? And mm-hmm. I get what you're saying also. It does attract yep. more, but I want you to be the best person you can be if I love you. Exactly, you know? yeah. Of course, it's more attractive. And men like, want oh, that too. All, you know? we want, yeah. Can I say something it, yeah. as yeah. a fine... I'm not conceited, but I'm beautiful as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know that like I get a lot of attention. I usually attract the men that look crazy, that don't got nothing going, because I don't feel like they're going to leave me. And I got more going on for myself. <gasps> That's what I It's a form of control, right? So, you, yeah. yeah, stereotypes is not cluding me in. Like, I don't go what, for them, you, what you the attract? guys that make more than me or... I don't go for the guys that make more than me or anything like that. Like, I go for the guys that make less than me, that look way worse, that nobody wants. Like, Are you single? And Yeah, I'm single. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, that, you know, you're single. You don't respect them niggas. Like that. <laughs> that's why. No, if you didn't like, respect no them, they don't different. respect me. I get cheated on but by that's, them guys. Because think about it, right? Those those low-value individuals, if they are if they don't respect themselves, they don't have the, the capacity of... And, 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 no, listen, 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 like, listen. That's listen. what I usually but, look, try. Yeah, let me speak to you real quick. <laughs> the low-value dudes, if they don't have it in them to work on themselves, they're not loving themselves, why do you think they're going to love you and respect you? So, of course, that's what's going to happen. Oh, that's why happens. it's within you. Your hypergamous is a good thing. But that's All my you thing, ladies like, should find and be yeah. with the best of the best. That's mm-hmm. my thing, though. Like, yeah. a man like that doesn't have them type of, like, standards. Like, oh, my gosh, she's so beautiful. She's not going to leave. Like, she looks at me right now. Like, I got to do everything I need to do mm-hmm. to keep her, like, type shit. Like, not, oh, like, I don't care how I am and I don't care what the fuck she... Nah. So, they want to try to keep me. Uh, you had something. Who had something? Yeah, yeah she had something. So I would say like, you know, I'm kind of on the everybody different type shit, but it's like, say for me, for me downgrading, everybody's different, but for downgrading, like somebody can handle cheating and somebody can't handle a nigga acting like a bitch. I can handle cheating. I can't handle a nigga to act like a bitch. So I'm downgrading if I go with a nigga that's like acting like a bitch because that's not oh, for I'm me. Like this I'm way. over here trying to help him not act like a bitch when I could be with somebody that don't act like a bitch and... But they cheated. So it's like there's always something that's going to be there that you dislike. It's just whether or not you can handle that or you can't. That's fact. So and and so you you pretty much said that uh, you you don't like uh, you. You want your man to be masculine. Yeah. Right. If he cheats, yeah. okay, you could probably forgive the cheating, but yeah. right. if he's not masculine, point, you can't yeah. forgive that. Yeah. I can't. You don't I like can't. a vulnerable dude. Like I, Makes sense. I do, but at the same time, I don't because I know that that's what that's what he's gonna want for me. So I gotta expect to give that. For me, you can't expect me to give that because I can't really. I barely give that to myself. Gotcha. So it's like if I can't give that to myself, if I can barely be a bitch to myself, and I'm actually a bitch, I got a vagina, you got a dick. So I if can't, he's acting like handle, that, you can't yeah. respect yeah. it. Like, Agreed, you exactly, shouldn't. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it's either got to uh-huh. be equal or honestly nothing at this point. Yeah, yeah, you, you, And, you and coolly, have. before you preach, um, no. the question was, what was your ideal man wanting you? And this is just from a man's perspective. All of y'all are women, so y'all don't know what we want or what we think about. Exactly. Right? And you meant to say this analogy last time, but I'm going to bring it for you. So he said, think about like Hawk, right? When y'all see Hawk and Hawk is in the world and he's being a hero and he's smashing buildings and throwing bad guys out and, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, saving the world, he looked for Black Widow in his ear. They'd be like, okay, Hawk, it's time to bring it home, Poppy. It's time to mm-hmm. bring it down. Mm-hmm. You did what you did for the day. Mm-hmm. But now it's time for peace. It's time for you tranquility. It's time for healing. It's time mm-hmm. for you to come home because home is a different feeling. So mm-hmm. what a man likes in a female is home. And she don't understand that because we don't care about your money. If you make me feel at home, I'll make the money. You ain't got to worry about that. But like, if I could go to you and know that I'm about to, I'm about to shred everything that the world put me through and you're going to put me back together and heal me, then that's what we look for. That's what we want. We don't care about income. We don't care about any of that. We care about peace. We care about home. That's Facts. y'all men. Not all men are like that. Literally have men that literally like drama, that like to get beat up, that like to get punched what? on, that mm-hmm. like the shit. That's like- not a man. That's a female. Yeah. yeah. Nah, Those are not That's not a man. What man you know want to sit there and fight with a female? Mm-mm. What? Change your man. But yeah, that's... 
changing men. But that's that's <laughs> also that's also if the person is ready for that female or man. Like that's if the person is ready for that for what men they actually want. want. Cause like I said, like I can't handle a nigga that acts like a bitch, but that's the one that I want. Why? Cause he's not gonna cheat on me. But right now, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to bow down to a nigga and be like, hey, I respect you acting like a bitch. I respect you acting vulnerable, even though I can't. Teach me that. I'm not ready for that. So that's why I'd rather deal with the nigga that, that cheats on me. Because they're not vulnerable. Like they're the ones that can be equal with me. I mean timing is everything. So, um we gonna we gonna move on. I yeah. uh, appreciate everyone for giving it inputs. Did any just before I move on, anyone last thoughts on this topic? No. Wanna put in? Move on. I got you. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> Let's have fun. It's serious. Can we go to the fun now? Yeah, let's go to the have fun now. Thank God. God. Fun now. I'll uh, get with the Make sure that we're not home, though. That was home. She said, oh, That was home. I got you. I know what he was trying to get at last time. I got you. I said, oh, I know what you're trying to go, my brother. I see where you're No, at. y'all niggas cut me off the last time. What I was saying was Could you say the Batman. same thing. Batman no, don't get Superman. no bitches. Superman, oh. he got Lois Lane. So when he hears <laughs> Lois Lane voice, this nigga... Yeah, but you said Batman last time. Nah, Batman don't get no Superman, bitches. Lois Lane is equal to him, though, no. It was Bat- Superman. And who Batman get? <laughs> Anyways, but I'll so clip that for exactly. you. That was good, Lane. Matches I got you. We'll put it up. <laughs> got you. Um, <laughs> next, who did we end with? We start over here. Yeah. Actually, we're going to start differently. We're going to start with you, Marissa. Okay. Um, and then we're going to go here and then that way. So, uh, Marissa. Yes. <laughs> it's a would you rather question. Oh, perfect. So, Love this. Would you rather mm-hmm. have sex with your celebrity crush or go on, a, go on a romantic date with an average guy that will take you seriously? <laughs> I'm going to do the first one because I already did the second one. <laughs> Facts. Sorry. What about you? <laughs> I've been dreaming about this moment. <laughs> what about yeah, you, Bridget? The same answer. Celebrity crush? Celebrity, yeah. Who got celebrity? What's the question? The question is, would you rather have sex with a celebrity crush or go out on a romantic date with an average guy, but he'll take you seriously? The second option. Okay. Mm -hmm. First, I'm going to make him have the best night of his life. I'm going to swallow his whole body. (laughs) Turning him up. (laughs) That's my money now. What about you, uh, um, Destiny? I would say the second option only because I don't really fangirl. I treat everybody literally equal. I'm very humble, so you got to be humble. Second option? Okay, so we got two second and we got three, the uh, the Celebrity. first option. Okay, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. I have nothing to that. You got anything to that? Oh, oh, question. you don't, wait, you don't got a build up? <laughs> Some stuff later. Yeah, you gotta do it. Cause like I was I was like ready for you to dunk on them. Like, like yeah. I mean, um like why over the other? Like why well, I, I said like I cause you can't like with him, it's a little it's I a have, chest I with have. him. It's not checkers. So you might answer with their first thought and then you're gonna be like, damn, I should have changed my answer. Cause he gonna say some shit. But um no, nah, I don't have nothing to you say about anything? that. If they okay. feel like if they feel like that's what they want to do, I mean I got nothing for girl, you. know how girls <laughs> is they can't reverse the question to yourself and answer. What you want to so, know? So what I do? Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll, I mean, shit. Opinion. I'll just end it because it did have a point, but it wasn't to get on you ladies. I would never get on a lady for, you know, their preference. It is what it is. But Ooh. speaking in the camera as men, uh, fellas, as you can see here, what you just witnessed, besides these two over here. Um, <laughs> what do you mean these two? These ladies, besides you two, uh, these ladies, um. most women, I would say in, in general, um, they don't want an average man. So get your stuff together, man. Become the best yeah, version of yourself. That's right. Get it together, niggas. Correct. Well, get it average. together. What does average For mean? For real, get it together. You are right. Average is different. Let's, let's define right. that because yeah. everybody's definition of five, average eight, is different. Five, eight, uh, 35 to 45k a year but but everybody's average in their yeah. head is way yeah, different than what we're speaking about right exactly. now exactly yeah. really. but we're talking about the so then why y'all all deal was above the average status then if that was the case because so if I was 5'8 right now I'm gonna get it but that's what I want so if I was 5'8 made 30,000 <laughs> What was the other one? We but, weren't allowed yeah, to give. If, if I was five feet, like, honestly, if a woman really, really do that want you, she's going to do whatever, whatever you want her to do. If you want her to make a million, she's going to get you a million. If you want her to do whatever she want or whatever you want, she's going to do it. Even nah, if I'm 5'2"? Women five don't two? build can men. I, can I right? mention If she something? wants you and you 5'2", women don't build men. She's going to do it. Women, women, women don't build men. Women don't, this is the facts. Women don't build men. 
Yeah. Women wait at the finish line and they smash the winners. That's what happens. Um, the I men that they do try to build, the <laughs> relationships say, I, I don't like work. That um, can I mention ahead, something? Yeah. Sure. And I only speak from experience. Um, I came out of a 10-year relationship marriage. Mm -hmm. And um, we both started very humble. Um, he was an average, below average man. And we both grew together. So in that situation, I don't feel like someone who's below average is not worthy depending on their mindset in that situation. So like if someone has the mindset like I want to achieve more, I want to do more, I want to build with you and they're really about it because one thing is saying and actually doing it, then I'm willing to invest my time and energy into that. So when we define average, it depends like it's. It depends on each person and their perspective about it. My definition of average could be an average man who's really trying to get above and beyond, but maybe doesn't have that accessibility. And maybe I do. You feel me? So we could both build together or maybe we could both figure it out. So that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So I'll say this. So it sounds good on paper, but it doesn't work in practice. Right. So mm -hmm. this is the thing, right? Mm -hmm. I need you ladies to start thinking about probabilities instead of thinking about possibilities. Because when you think about probabilities, you, you, you will learn from your mistakes. You won't date those broke niggas. You won't date the oh, guys that you not. really aren't attracted to. So hear me out, right? So yeah, it sounds good on paper, but in practice, like it's natural for women to be hypergamous, right? It's natural, right? So think about it. You naturally want the best, but you're settling, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then if you're settling, you're going to be like, arguments that's going on. You, you know what I mean? Think about the girls that you see in a club. Maybe they smack their nigga. The girl that's in Walmart, they screaming at their dude. Why do you think this woman is screaming at that dude? Because he's inadequate in some way. He's inadequate. That's not always true. It's always true. It's always true. It's always true. And the I dude is inadequate in some way. Maybe he's right, feminine, wait, like maybe? she said. Like he's not that masculine. You see me outside screaming with my nigga. That's not. That's not the case. Yeah, yeah. Not to you. It's not always school. about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, 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 <laughs> she said. She said. <laughs> well, she said my man is really innocent. It's just on me. So if I'm screaming, it's just me. No, I was beating on my nigga head in New York. I punched him. And the cop literally came and asked me because I was light skinned and he was blacker than my jacket. <laughs> he asked me, Are you okay? So you need to ask this nigga. I just beat him in the fucking head. You crazy. I love the accountability. Yeah. That's I love yeah. it. Me too. That's I love it. I like that too. I wish the, the courts uh, operated and took accountability like she do, but yeah. it don't work that way. <laughs> that was you awesome. You can whoop a nigga and they'll be like, Lock him up. <laughs> <laughs> but, Get him. But can I, I say something? something? Go ahead. Go I ahead. feel like it. Yeah, like honestly, let's generalize. I feel like everybody's on different mentals. So there could be a female out there who's not mentally ready to handle a man. So we got to put that into perspective. Ooh. No, no, no. So, I disagree. 100% oh. no, no, disagree. No, the that. female, the female that's Ooh. out there, right? She really needs a man in her life. She needs it's it, but she's opposite. not mentally yeah. there. Even if she not, think about it. Even if she's not mentally there, the only way that she's going to get there is by a man. God. Where a man at? I've been, need, I've been said I'm not ready, but if I'm ready when that man come, where that man at? You know what I'm talking? Where the camera at? Where that man at? I'm looking, I'm looking for that right, man. Yeah. All right. Go ahead, Bridget. You yeah. said um, women do not build when, uh, men. Yeah, they don't does that build mean them. you're saying that men build women? Yes. No. I don't in some aspects, so. I do. Yes. Not in all aspects, aspects but mm -mm. definitely. <laughs> no. Okay. So let me yeah, ask you guys a question. We got it. Here's a question. So it's harder to build a man than it is a woman. All right. No, let's go no. around the panel. Let's go around the panel. Okay. Okay. I agree. Let's okay. go around the panel. Okay. I might got a time. I get to go with Raina. Yeah. Mm. Do you oh, I have it? I actually have the question. Let me make sure I got it right. Uh. I want to read it right from here. I'm watching. I'm, watching. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Who do you think should lead in a relationship? The man Tired. or the woman? Man. Who do you think sh should lead in a relationship? The man or the woman? Woman. What about you? <laughs> Both, um, Both of them. Both of them. You got to pick one. One or the other. The kids. One or the other. <laughs> the man. The man. Okay. The man. Marissa. Man. Man. The man. Okay. So... Besides you, Mother Russia, because you be beating your niggas up. <laughs> <laughs> she did with women, First that's all, why. <laughs> Besides you. Honestly, like, my baby father said, like, behind, like, y'all all know the saying, like, behind every 
successful man is a strong woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, that's that fucking he, saying. It's uh-huh. very, very old. <laughs> strong, not abusive. I didn't say abusive. I said okay. strong. And a mic. I said strong. Okay, so let me let me just make my point, right? So everyone in all you women want a leader, mm-hmm. right? No. So. Mother Russia. Look, look, you see how we say yes and you say no? Mother Russia. I like to lead. Hi, Mother Russia. You think that. You think that. No, I'm serious. You like to lead, but That's it don't work problem. out. Exactly. Exactly. So then. Can I say cool. something? Let me make my point. We're both saying the same thing. I'm not drink to Russia. <laughs> Let me make a point real quick. All you ladies want a leader besides Mother Russia. So it it doesn't make sense. When y'all say the things that y'all say, mm-hmm. because if you want a leader, and not only that, <laughs> your hypergamous nature, <laughs> it's in you to want that leader. Now so you want the guy better than you in all aspects. Now you're labeling Who's us y'all? as hypergamous Who's when y'all? we never said we were hypergamous. Yeah, correct. But what did I say leader. before? Yeah, I yeah, you said you want a leader. You said you want a leader. I did, but I never but w- I never stated anything that made me hypergamous whatsoever. So now you're labeling every woman in the room. No, no, no. He's un- saying women generally I'm date general. on oh, a hypergamous like, level. Like, I agree like with what he's saying is yeah, generally you know, speaking. That's why it's important to I work. To you work. So, so would you date a homeless guy? Now that's why it's important to, you know, say your sentences correctly. Would you if that homeless guy, mm-hmm. that homeless guy was Drake? That homeless guy hot. was Drake. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. So that means nah, yeah, let's, me let's right. get back on topic. Anyways, right. I was saying the reason why the reason why this came up because we were on a topic and it seemed like it was a disagreement. Like the man shouldn't be not leading, but it was like, yeah, I really didn't want a man that's better than your high perkiness nature. All the yeah, your ideal man, he's better than you. He's taller. He's mm-hmm. makes more money. He's you know, besides you, Mother Russia. He's not better. Yeah, because I'm the best. Like, ain't no he best. can be the provider. He can be the strength. I he said he's that, better than you in those aspects. In those aspects. In those aspects, he's better. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. if we're talking about financially, I don't think that that has to do with anything. Because if we're saying a woman, it doesn't matter how much a woman make, then we should say that about a man too. Obviously, you're not gonna take interest into a bitch that's making more money than you, oh. bringing more bitches home than you, bringing bitches home to you, leading the the whole relationship. Like you're not gonna take interest in that. If you're my no, wife, I don't man. care. Why about would that. I want someone that's like myself? Man? Yeah, why would yeah, I want another man? Depends on your men standard. don't want to date themselves. <laughs> like I said, women, ladies, attraction is asymmetrical. It's not symmetrical. <laughs> You get what I'm saying? She, we don't. She's like, All if, right. you pull, if you if you pulling just as much as I'm pulling, n- niggas don't want don't somebody want that. that's just like no. them. They might be evil twin, I'm evil twin, just because the song came out. But niggas don't really want an evil twin. <laughs> Yeah, one might got a time. But anyways, let's move on. Let's get back on topic. Let's get into another question. Have some fun. So uh, we're gonna start with you this time. We're gonna go around this way because I started with you, right? Mm-hmm. And we went around, so you start with you. So, um, question for you. Uh, what do you think is worse? When a man cheats or if a woman cheats? Like from experience or... Because I, honestly, I never cheated before. No, no, just in so, general. Don't, don't... No, I, I've dead never cheated. Yeah, so, so this I, is the just an in general question. The only aspect that I've Not experienced yourself, is... Yeah. A man cheating Because I've felt that I've felt that pain And it's not good So it's like Why would I expect You know Why would I want Somebody else to Experience that pain So for me I would say I would say I'm a man for me But I okay. would feel like The world would say Woman because we do it For <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead Because we want to Not because of like Oh we just want some ass Or something Because mm-hmm. we want another man Because we want a A man that's better Than the one that we have because obviously if we cheating then that's the aspect okay. mm-hmm. we're not cheating for no reason we don't that's got a fact we right. doing it with a purpose niggas do it because that's just a feeling that's what they want they want a good feeling oh, but man. other than that the world that's what they would say it would say a woman say hey man you not right. you not, not bad you're, you're not, not quite crazy. bad that's good what about you mother russia <laughs> what do you think is worse uh a man cheating or a woman cheating so me and my baby father have personally had this conversation um i've told him like men, only for the simple fact, like if like another woman. Because you lead the relationship. Like, no, like if another woman. <laughs> of like, course, it's worse if he cheat. You gonna 
<laughs> if you see, if you're like, you if she like see into your soul and you really yeah. like bond and like with this girl, like, like soul wise, like that. Gener- generally hurt. speaking, which wh- what's worse? Which gender? A man or a woman who I cheats? Woman. Cool. What about you, Randy? Thank you, Russian. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I feel like in a relationship, if there's no transparency, honesty, and trust. On both parts, that is both worse. I feel like it's equal. I'm sorry. Okay, and let me ask me. you a question. Um, yeah, is your mom and dad together? Or just say yes or no. Or like, yes. Okay, they're together. Yeah. What will hurt you more, your mom cheating, or your dad cheating? Mm, to be honest, I feel equal. I feel like it's a betrayal either way. Cause y'all committed to each other. Why would y'all do that to each other? It's better to leave than do that. Okay, Sorry. so you can't you you can't choose A or B. No, okay, it's in between. I feel like it's both. No worries. We'll go to uh, Bridget. What do you think is worse, uh, a, a woman, woman, woman cheating? Okay, why? Yeah. Well, um, men do it a little bit more mindlessly, and women do it more emotionally. That's and very true. I think that. Yeah. That's how I feel. Okay. That's very true. Cool. And what about you, uh, Marissa? Yeah, um, I agree. I mean, I don't uh, know, like, you said worse, right? Like, yeah, wor- which, is, which is worse. Like, worse in what aspect? Like, like, like worse, like, because, right, exactly. But um, they're both pretty bad. But, well, like, well, but I agree. Um, I do agree that they cheat for different re- reasons. Yeah, yeah for so, sure. So, so what I'm saying is, like, which is worse? Like just, just like I, think about it. Like so, one person. Right, they're both bad though. That's what I'm saying. Another person yeah. They're both bad. It's both. Yeah. They're both bad. Bo- I feel like either way. I, nah, I, both. I like that. We need a different yeah, word other than worse. Yeah, we need you. Okay. So that's my like, god. Which one is more damaging? Which one is more damaging? Um. <laughs> Answer. I I I don't know. I was I've been cheated on and it was horrible. Um, I don't know. That's pretty bad. I don't know. I'm not a man, so I don't know how they okay. feel. And so stuff. you kind of think what Raina thinks? Kinda yeah. Like equal. Yeah. I, I, sure. Equal. I know where you're going, but what they're trying to say because they're going to think of how they feel in the situation and not from reverse. Yeah, I don't know. We how know a man how feels. we is no in the situation. Feel. So to them, whether they get cheated on, that's. That could be deadly to them. You get what I'm saying? So they feel like, shit, well, if you cheat, it's just as equal as me cheating. <laughs> but which is, which we try to say that, um, and, you know, you could bring it home from where you want to bring it home. I'm not going to take well, no, away no, from no. that. But I get what they're saying. From their aspect of things, they're just saying that it hurts me. Just if, if I cheat yeah, on I you, it will hurt you. So that's what if they're saying. If he really cares about you, obviously, and, I, and I've and i I've experienced, not me personally, but I've like saw other situations where both parties cheated and both parties were hurt. Mm-hmm. So I don't feel that it's like, oh, who's worse? Mm-hmm. No, you, a man could genuinely love a woman and if he she does something like you, that to him, it could hurt him to the core. He could, dip, you know, there's people who... True you know, do things that they're not supposed to do because of that, because a woman cheated. Yeah, I just hold on to it for a little bit longer. See, I'd be like, mm, so go back to that. Mm. You know, we'll take it and we'll eat it on the channel. And we'll be like, yo, you know, can I'm going to accept you for Can you we know, say the S word here? But over there, what? it's like... What? It's, no. What? Yeah. Uh, suicide. Because <laughs> uh, niggas commit yeah. suicide. Yeah, yeah, niggas off themselves. Because, I mean, that, that because a woman that, cheats. That, so that, then, and, and I, I have, like, the odds and the percentage, I have never heard a woman commit suicide because a man cheated because because men aren't Which really heard the and percentage so, so what's worse let, let her rock real quick the percentage the percentage of men that have actually heard with their emotions that actually go to therapy that actually want to be heard because they're not scared of the fact that oh somebody else gonna judge me and it's mostly women because what we're judgmental are you kidding me we have more emotions than men we're gonna be judgmental as fuck so the uh, the average man to go to actual therapist or somebody to say something about their emotions about a woman cheating on them that they actually hurt because w- once you think about it it's like a man that you go and see in the club or even a man that you go on a date with, what they gonna say? Oh, a woman cheated on me, so that that's why I'm over here. I'm trying to find another marriage, or I'm trying to find another. No, n- niggas don't say that. Mm-hmm. They say, oh, I want some ass mm-hmm. before anything. Why? Because that's what women expect them to say. Like, come on now, men are not really hurt, so they're not gonna speak about their emotions because um. they think that we don't give a fuck. But honestly, we do give a fuck. We just don't know how to give a fuck. Like we weren't raised to give a fuck about men's emotions. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Cool. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I think, you know, men... <laughs> it's not necessarily true. We give a fuck because we hold our women as a prized possession. I never, I never said that. I never said that men don't give. I never said that anybody don't give a fuck. I'm just saying, uh, yeah. women honestly weren't raised unless it was their dad, their brother, somebody in their family. They weren't raised to give a fuck about men's emotions like that. They would. They oh, was told that men is supposed to carry the whole family throughout, no matter what phase it was. The whole family. Yeah, I mean, it, I think that just to. Go off what you said. I think that um, I really don't care about men's emotions, and other men should speak to other men about their emotions. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't speak to. But that's but that's also who they feel most comfortable with speaking yeah, to. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think men should have men groups, and they should speak to their friends. They should speak mm -hmm. to their father. They should speak to someone else. You know that to get that male perspective, because a, a female's perspective usually. Mm -hmm. In most cases, wouldn't help that man. But honestly, like, I feel like I say I, I see where you're going, but a man wouldn't get a woman therapist unless they want to see a woman's perspective. A girl wouldn't, a female wouldn't get a man's perspective as a therapist unless they want to see that. A you got, you got to be ready for useless. it. Is useless. The reason why it's useless is because females don't give good advice to men. Think about it. To men, don't though. give good right. advice to, to a man. Right. They yeah, give good course, advice to another female. Yeah, they give good good exactly. advice to another female. So That's what I'm saying. saying is that a man, he wants to go seek another man to really right. um because men are naturally a deductive problem solvers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Women, they're they're nurturing. Mm -hmm. You you know, you if someone comes to you with a problem, they're going to, you know, they're they're the probability is much higher for them to coddle than to say, hey. Get yourself together. You're lacking right. in this. You're lacking in that. Right. Nigga, you're lazy. Nigga, mm -hmm. you're uh, exactly. indecisive. Exactly. Uh -huh. Nigga, this and this. No, so the unless, male would do mm -hmm. that. So let me just wrap this up real quick so we can move on to the next topic. A woman cheating is treason. Um, it is, uh, she pretty much treason. She committed espionage and all of that. It's the worst thing ever. Since the beginning of time, a woman cheating is disgusting. They stole those women. I'm not saying that, you know, they should be doing that, but that's just what it was. And it's in the Bible. It's in the Quran. It's in all the texts. So, yeah, a woman cheating is is not a good thing. It's, um, it's much worse. I'll break it down to you in many ways. I'll let y'all speak, so please listen now. Y'all gonna get this. Y'all gonna get this. But can I, can no, I no, hear no, the no, biblical no. topic? No, 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 no. You gonna get this. No, no, no. no you gonna get it. You gonna get this. You said, I need a man's perspective, so one, I hear one, you. One mic at a time. You gonna get this. You said the biblical perspective, but it applies to both parties. I'm sorry. If you wanna open the Bible to 2 Corinthians, we could open it up. It's both parties. <laughs> uh, no, nah, well, no. So, anyway, listen. No, it's, no, totally no, no. it's totally different. It's totally different. <laughs> no, so, no. you gonna get this. No, wait. You're gonna get she this. has reason. So, I got. Okay. This is what I do. So, listen. Let me know. Ladies. Nah, 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 when nah. When I speak, why y'all seem to cut me off? I don't cut y'all off, really. You know what I mean? I'll let y'all rock. So, please respect them one mic at a time. Respect the host. <laughs> um, it's different. The reason why it's different is a multitude of things of why it's worse. I asked that question because I knew you ladies was gonna give y'all perspective. The two that pretty much said that I kind of think it's the same And he said it The reason why you're thinking it's the same is because And you have every right to think that way I'm not saying you're you're thinking about it incorrectly or wrong it, That's your way of thinking But now I'm going to give you the logical Truthful perspective The no fugazi perspective You mm -hmm. feel me? So when a woman cheats It is pre premeditated murder When a man cheats it's manslaughter. It's like, all right, you know, drunk driving, he killed someone. Yeah, but premeditated yeah. murder, no. Yeah. It, that's much different. You get 20 years to life. Mm -hmm. Manslaughter, mm -hmm. yeah, five you you get five to seven. You mm -hmm. may, maybe two years. You know what I mean? D depending on if it's a car accident, drunk driving, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Not so, on my watch. <laughs> uh, so that's one thing. So just think about that, right? She hit it on a point. When a woman cheats, it's more emotional. Women yeah. cheat because no, in most cases... In all cases, they don't like they nigga like that. I could still love you, but I'll I'll smash her. <laughs> I'll smash her. I'll smash her. I'll smash her. And guess what? I love you up here. That love for you, it ain't going nowhere. It's still the same. That's I'll fact. smash your neighbor. Oh, your cousin? I'll smash her too. My love for you is not going to change. Horrible. So a man can yeah. literally still love a woman and have sex with other women. But. So not but. I'm going to finish. Too. So that's one, right? A woman can it's do It's just it much. No, 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 no. A woman can't do it. Yes, because in order for. I'm going to break it down to you. Sex for a woman is the most ultimate form of submission. Right? 
Think about it. Mason. Allowing. Think about the point that you have to get to, ladies, to allow a nigga to slide in between your soul gaps and smack it and flip it around. <laughs> you have to get to some me, emotional me, point. Let me, let me hear it. <laughs> Once you hear that, that's all that matters. Yeah, ladies, I'm making a point. Listen, let me get the mic. Now with every woman. You have to get to some emotional point. I'm not speaking about myself, but... Raina, please, because you're going to look silly because remember, I gave the analogy already. A parking lot. I know you did, but... There there are four handicapped spots. I'm so broad-minded. There are... No, 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 that actually is not broad-minded. That's the opposite mm-hmm. of broad, broad-minded. Nah. That's actually very That's narrow-minded. It's very culture-based. No, no, it's very narrow-minded. It's so I'm, very I'm trying to help you cul- out it's here. It's very culture-based. So let me finish, right? A woman cheating is the most ultimate form of submission. Allowing someone, think about what it what it takes. Cheating All- or having sex? Because you said sex before and then you just said cheating. So which so, one? And I feel if it. you are uh, cheating, mm-hmm. exactly. you have to have sex. I don't know. Some people, some people's, I guess, Define cheating it differently. isn't just well, well, sex. We're, well, I don't we're know. speaking about, we're speaking about. Which is worse. You could just yeah, rebound. Speak, no, 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 listen, listen, ladies. Say? Stay on which topic. One mic at a time. Listen, we're all right. speaking about in cheating in a sense of having sex. Mm-hmm. Wait, no, no, no. So, no. Like, we're all what? speaking about in cheating <laughs> in a sense of having sex, right? Mm-hmm. Let's stay on topic and be focused and listen. Don't listen to respond because everyone's responding, but you're not listening. You're going to get this. You're going to get this work. Listen, now, let me rock. Doors, I As I up. said, a woman cheating is treason. It's the most ultimate awesome <laughs> form of submission. And in order for you to, to allow someone in you, you have to like them to some degree. Now, yes, there's a minority of women that could just go ahead out there and really not, you know, care too much. And they'll have sex with men. Thank they'll you. They'll have a hot girl summer every once. It's, that's why it's called a hot girl summer. It's not called a hot girl year. <laughs> You Thank feel what you, I'm saying? But that's it's what a hot I'm girl summer. To no, it's not. That's it's a, it's insignificant to even address something like that because it's you not, only do it for a hot girl summer. But guess what? Even those very promiscuous girls, even a girl that had a 360 body count that came on here, she still was selective and has standards to a degree. She still qualified some dudes and disqualified some guys. That's just what it was. Even though she was sleeping with handicapped niggas, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Handicap was a nigga. Was if you're not handicapped, you're not getting a box. That's a qualification to sleep. With her, I can't sleep with her because she like handicap niggas. So there it is. So what I'm saying is that half all women, oh in order God. for in order for a woman to have sex with a guy, that guy has to qualify for that woman in some degree. It could be maybe he got it. Maybe the girl has ten boxes. Maybe he only got to check off five boxes for this girl, but this other girl he got to check off two boxes. Niggas don't operate like that. It don't got to be zero boxes. If it's a dry Saturday night and we ain't getting no pussy in a while, mm-hmm. we'll hit it. So yeah. that's just it is what it is. So the other thing, right? It's much different when a woman cheats is because think about the, it's a give and a get. I gave this analogy before, but I'll explain it to y'all. When you give something, you know, no one cares about the person that's given something. It's the person that gives money, they're like, all right, you did a good deed. The person that gives the award, no one claps for that person. The person that, you know, uh, gives anything, it's just like, okay, cool, you, d- you did a good deed. But the person that gets something, right, the man gets sex. The person that gets something that gets the award, we all clap for that person. The person that gets money, oh, you made a come up. Do you feel what I'm saying? In regards to the value exchange, it's a total different value exchange when a man cheats he expresses his value because it's harder to cheat. When a woman cheats, she lowers her value. She devalues herself when she cheats because it's easy for her to do it. Make sense? So I'll land my plan there. It gotta make sense at some point. (laughs) It ain't just, she still thinks the same. It's It's totally different. That's why. You know, you know what no, it is. You want it to be equal, but many I mean, women are equal. All right, like for me, yes, absolutely, I agree. But when we want to generalize and speak about everybody, because it's not just like a selective few listening to this, it's a lot of people. But we're not with speaking diff- about everybody. We're speaking about the general. Yeah. So the general. <laughs> so there are people who yeah. do things consciously and subconsciously, right? So sometimes you can consciously do something because you want to do it. You care for that person. But we can't say that there's a woman out there heartbroken. Okay. Wait, let, let me, me finish. Just give you the let me finish. How it's much different. No, but no, let wait, me, wait, wait, let wait. Let me, let me. One, well, one, one, no. one, one, one. No, it's my podcast. So I'm letting you know. Chill. So <laughs> listen to this. I need you to understand. I really I need understand. you to understand, Raina. No, just look at me. <laughs> Eye contact. <laughs> Men can truly have sex with someone that they hate. Mm -hmm. You ladies aren't doing that. We could truly think about the, uh, 
uh, you know, the people that um, they have sex with dead bodies. What is that called? Uh, Necrophilia. Yeah. Necrophiliac. Yeah. That's disgusting. So, I've saying. never heard of a woman necrophiliac. You think what you get what That's I'm saying? Insane. So men, we we are capable of having sex with someone that we hate. You're not capable of that. No ladies are capable of having sex with someone that you hate. You're not gonna open up your legs and allow this person to dominate you and get a nut off. It's just not gonna happen. You feel what I'm saying? So that's yeah. a difference. There's a vast difference of a woman having sex and a vast difference versus a man having sex. That's what we're talking about. So since there's a difference, when a woman cheats, it's worse because we know that she has to like the guy that she's stepping out of the relationship with to a certain degree in most cases. Now, when a man, we know that he doesn't have to like that girl at all. He could actually despise that girl, hate that woman, but he'll still get his rocks off. That's what I'm saying. So it's just not the same. So you're saying a woman can't have sex with someone that she hates? Will you have sex with someone that you hate? I won't. No, not even. Not, I no, 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 not I even will. will. Are I you won't. capable? Come near do you me. even think? <laughs> come near me. Listen, do you even think you're capable of doing it? I won't. Speaking Keep for myself. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. And that's you, it. I'm asking you. You can't speak but, for but other you women. Think but you're we can, capable. So the thing is, like, I feel like a, a lot of things are generalized and then specific. So then we got to be... So when it comes to me, absolutely not. No, no, no I'm not even her, asking if you will. Right? Her, when it comes to other her, people, her. then it depends. I'm Everybody's pretty, different. Yeah. So we're going to generalize the question now then, okay? Just to make you feel better. Can you have sex with somebody you hate? No. Can you have sex with somebody you hate? Fuck. What about you? That's going to be a fuck no for what me. What about you? Nope. That's the general population. <laughs> okay. So when so we go by now, statistics... Yeah, but we're talking no, no, about just I'm, I'm going to give you the perspective. Ask me no, the I said sex. I said, can you have sex with somebody well, you hate? No. That's I, all I'm I know, asking I know. You're, well, you're asking. You ask, all the guys. ask me. Ask me the question. <laughs> I need the answer. Oh, yeah, obviously. I, would you I want, have sex you with someone? Me? That, no, would no, you no, cheat? Because we're, we're talking we're about cheating. Me. No, no, no. We ask me. Ask me the question. Hold on. Would you... You answer first. Would I have sex with someone that I hate? Would you cheat? No, no. Ask me that question. Because we're talking about cheating, right? Would I cheat on my girl with somebody I hate? Yeah. It's still sex to a man. Okay. And so therefore, that is going to answer your question. What about you? Me? I'll, if you I, I'll give you the perspective. All men are truly capable of having sex with a woman that killed his entire family. Uh-uh. The reason why... No, no, I didn't say we will. I didn't say we will. I didn't say we will. Listen to the English right. language. I didn't say we will. He said I capable. said that we are capable. capable. The reason why we're capable, capable of huh? doing an act like that because it's a dominating act. You and wanna... one, think about it. Mm-hmm. This woman that killed my whole family now, oh, she's vulnerable with me and she's going to allow because we can't just have sex with the woman without her permission mm-hmm. or it's great. So we, sh- it has to be a degree to somewhere where she like is maybe worried enough for it to happen. Just let's think about the scenario. So if it does get there, most men is capable of doing it. And I'll mm-hmm. say some niggas will do it because it's a dominating act and they'll get back. They'll clap them. I'm yeah. tearing it apart. Tearing it you hear me? You killed my whole family. Killed my family. family. You feel good doing it. Yeah. So, so, so think about that, Raina. So <laughs> okay. this is it's why we man. have these discussions. Okay. I want the audience to understand. You want the fake or you want the real? Understand. So listen, we have these That's discussions. We have these discussions because men and women are different. And we perceive things much differently too. Attraction isn't symmetrical, it's asymmetrical. So what you like in someone or what you want in someone is the opposite of that man. He wants the opposite of you. So like you were saying, Mother Russia, uh, yeah, niggas don't want no girl that's going to be leading a relationship. We want a nice, soft, feminine, submissive woman. And like you said, you don't want no little pussy. You want a masculine man. So yeah. Anything? No, all right, next question. Beat this one up. Uh, We're going to rock out for like, what, 30 more minutes and we're going to wrap this up. Um, actually, I'm going to bring it on y'all. So, um, a question for the ladies. We're going to start with you, Bridget. Yes. Um, it's not really a question. It's kind of like up to you. So, uh, what's one thing you want to know about the opposite sex? Like, one thing maybe you don't understand or you want to know about the opposite sex? If he was ever curious, like, you know what I'm yeah. saying? This is what, what would you, you got? Know? You got men in here. You know, we'll, hmm. one thing you want to know. We'll keep it real with you. Um, how often do you think about love? Like, when you're in love? Hmm. Good question. 
Liam, you want to go first? <laughs> when we're in love. Yeah, when you're in love. Oh, when we're in love, we think about it all the time. Okay. When we're in love, we're genuinely in love. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, it's hard to get a man to be at that point, though, to the point where he's really catering to everything you're doing. So when we're in love, it's nothing above that. It's it's my business, my queen and my kids and my family, which is on the same level. And then everything else falls underneath that. So when you have this, then yeah, it's like it's it's yours. It's like yeah. I'm thinking about oh, you need something, you want some. I'm thinking about that twenty four seven, just as much as I'm thinking about making my money. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would say um how often your question was how often do men think about love? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess yeah. I think so. Yeah. Pretty pretty yeah, nailed it on the head. Yeah. So like, you know, everything I would say this, since men love idealistically instead of opportunistically, mm-hmm. like the love that a man has, I think, this is my opinion, I think is more, it's, it's just more, you, it's usually more pure because we're not expecting certain things from you. Mm-hmm. The things like the things that we're expecting from you is literally like nothingness. Very like true. we're not expecting you to be out there hustling and grinding and getting things together to yeah. provide for me. We're not expecting those things. We're expecting you to be soft, feminine, submissive, and cheer me on. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, um, I think it's not like in the forefront of the man's mind all the time. Like oh, like we're thinking about love, but our actions, the stuff that we do, mm-hmm. is all like in love. It's like it's, it's all out of, out of love. Yeah. yeah. So right. if your guy is like slacking off, uh, and he's not providing for you, he really doesn't like. You can say love that. you like that. You can say that. Yeah. You can say. That. And and, and we're just giving like y'all the because me- true love, true true love. So true love is this, right? Mm-hmm. When it comes to a guy. A guy has to be perspicacious enough to know what his woman wants, right? Mm-hmm. And to be the rock in that relationship for her emotions to fall on, mm-hmm. right? So if the man is inadequate, he's not protecting, providing for you, mm-hmm. um, he really doesn't love himself like that because he's not becoming the best version of himself. So if he doesn't really love himself like that, then he really can't love you. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So true love... For a man is He gotta really love himself And women benefit from that yeah. When a man yeah. is on his grind You benefit from that yeah. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So that's what I was And along with everything he said too yeah, I agree Good question Good you, got a, you got another one though? Mm-hmm. No? Hmm? Not at the moment I like that one Maybe come I, back I yeah. do like that Men don't talk anything? about love enough I don't, love have, enough, I don't so. think I have we'll one to top I don't think I have we'll one back. to top that Well we'll come back to you uh, Go ahead When does a man know that he is ready to marry somebody not for like benefits or anything like that but when he knows he's ready to marry somebody and because marry? like in my opinion like i've seen a lot of things like where men say like well in general where people say like you it's not only about love like you don't only you're not only supposed to be in love with somebody to marry somebody like it has to be all types of aspects all types of aspects have to be in line so i would just want to know like from your perspective um well men don't think about women as benefit like we don't hop in a situation and I'm gonna Do a quick I'm go- pause. Yeah. Uh, huh? Quick pause. Is it overheat? <coughs> <coughs> Bitch, how you know if I'm able to pause? So what does it take for a bitch to marry? Hold on, hold on. Wait, which yeah, which, yeah, which conversation? Uh, I was married before. He wasn't mm-hmm. married. So I'm gonna tell you. Was and was you wanna know why? Oh, 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 you were married? He was married before. Oh, like a sucker ass nigga. For how many? 72 days? I'm kidding. Nah, it was 60. It was 60 days in. Is that the minimum? No, I just said that because it was Kim K. That's all. But being married? Uh-huh. Every different country. We're just speaking about America. In other good. countries, it'll be much different. It's actually even, even. Damn. We we we'll was back on that though. Yeah. Actually, bring that <laughs> question. Yeah, because yeah, other marriages in other places are way different. Bring up the biased question what you said. Say the question ahead. again. Do your question. Oh, okay. What did I say? Damn. That was yeah, for real. <laughs> you was about to answer it. I know. Say it again. Um, yes. When when yeah. do you know that you're ready to be married besides being in love? Because it doesn't only take being in love. I forgot what I was about to say. Don't put me on it. Fuck yeah. I forgot what I was about to <laughs> say. Go, first, bro? go ahead. All right. I well, forgot. Um, when does a man know that he wants to be married? Well, one, I would say generally speaking, men don't really care about marriage. Got it. So um, That's we're I'm not actually. really like looking to be married. Like, oh, yeah. You mm. get what I'm saying? It's mm. 
So remember I used that give and get mm-hmm. scenario? Um, men, whoever gives things, it isn't really a praise for them. It's really not mm-hmm. like a, oh, I really want this. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're, you're giving it You in most cases. So when men give marriage and the woman goes to her friends and like, oh, look at my mm-hmm. ring. Mm-hmm. And it's a praise for her. But when niggas get sex, that's when we go to our home. Like, oh, you hit that? My nigga. <laughs> It's a praise for us. I knew it. Because it's a get. So women get married, so it's a praise. Men get sex, so it's a praise. So in regards to, just to clear it up real quick, in regards to that question, yeah, we don't really think about it that much. Yeah. Um, in regards to... How do you know when you're ready? When we're ready. Uh, yeah, how yeah. So, do you know so when you're I'll ready? Have, I'll say this. So, are you going to say yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, I'll say this. Go ahead. When, when we're ready to settle down, I'll yeah. say this, and give yeah. true commitment to a woman. Yeah. on paper and everything. Okay, cool. Um... How do we know when we're ready? So a man knows when he's ready. I would say that you I mean it, it could be a it could be a multitude of things. When we see certain traits in a woman, well one it's about when we got the right woman, mm-hmm. we know that. Mm-hmm. And it isn't much honestly, ladies. Like if you this is universally what men want. Feminine, submissive, and like a cheerleader. Like what I'm doing, root me on. Mm-hmm. Like be that, be that person by me. If I'm doing this, I want you to be like, yeah, you, you got that, Cooley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, you, you got that. Oh, you made that business deal. Mm-hmm. Wow, you made that. Like be my cheerleader, because that's that motivation that we need to increase our value, and then you benefit from it mm-hmm. because we're providing and protecting for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, okay. I would say that's what men want. So when we finally got that, and mo- but the thing is, most women can't even do those three simple things. They that's can't be. Fact. Feminine, not, they can't be submissive, and they can't them, yeah. be, uh, you know, a can't cheerleader. All three of them are the same. First of Facts. all, if I'm being a cheerleader, submissive, and all, do you gotta do the same to me? I'm not about to give you something you can't get. <laughs> we know you want to choke your nigga out. Yeah, we, we know. know we know you want to WWE, WWE you want, suplex like, slam your guys. Okay, Triple H. Like, nah, for real though. Like, if I'm cheering you on for your business, you better be doing the same for me. Like, I can't give you something you can't give to me. Oh, of course, you're my wife, so we're not gonna downplay with you. You're not gonna be like, babe, yeah, I'm about to start an esthetician job, and I'm like, ah, uh, boo. Like, no, we're gonna obviously. If you're my wife, then we're gonna encourage you the but same way you encourage ego us. Don't be doing it. A lot of no. men. You deal with that's female ego. That's yeah, what you, you deal you, with. You you usually I deal, deal with. Both. with. You deal with niggas. You can be them. And I what I was about both. to say before is men don't benefit anything from females. <laughs> I don't think I want to marry a girl because she made great income. I don't be like, oh, you make a hundred thousand? I'm about to marry this. Like, because you could still be the, you, you could still not care for me and right. hold down in the areas that I need. You right. get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, when we when we think about marriage, it's like, what Kulu's trying to get at, there's no, like, me being your boyfriend, Mm-hmm. To the fullest extent I'm not talking about half ass Cheating mm-hmm. Doing this other shit Me being your man To the fullest extent Is the same thing Me marriage. being your husband <laughs> mm-hmm. To the fullest extent mm-hmm. So we don't care for it We just do it when you say Like hey right. babe When you go yeah. and Marry me And right. we start considering a, it You know right. what I'm saying There's right. not a benefit That a man receives Yeah There's, there's no, not a benefit It's not like It's not a like matter of you I'm gonna get 50,000 Then and, yeah. then and his wife It's the same thing It's the same So, so yeah. it's the same as like You were saying Like Cooley was saying About like Being in a relationship Relationships is different for men and women. Just Facts. like being yeah, married. Totally different. Different Facts. Because kind of y'all in a relationship for marriage. Right. I would rather show it off and everything. Y'all think of the aspects of like, oh, it's on paper. Like, what What can yeah. I look? That's yeah. where prenups yeah. come in. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? It's mostly because of men or whoever making the most money. And it's mostly because men making it. the most how, money. How, how many men are really ready for marriage? Think about exactly. it. Even exactly. Even though they've been in a relationship exactly. for 10 years, they still might be scared to make that little mm-hmm. bit of step. And the women only still because might want them to do it just because they want that ass. They want that outstanding wedding. They, they want, want that, that ring. They want that they ring. They want to show that off. They want to feel beautiful in that aspect. They or, want, let's mm-hmm. sum it up in one. They want that title. Women or, want that or, wife title. Mm-hmm. Okay. I want to be wife. Competition with Honestly, other women. So when yeah. a woman yeah. gets yeah. locked oh, down. Oh, you still a girlfriend? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So you get what I'm saying? So, and, it, and it might come with everything that comes with it. The money, how many kids exactly, you want, the exactly, big house, exactly. the, the vacation. So question is, how many men you see go around like, oh, you're not a husband? <laughs> I feel like I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. It's a good yeah. point. Yeah. We just don't answer look her question another way, right? So what he was getting at, right? So there's not an incentive or any benefit for a man to get mm-hmm. married versus everything that he'll get in marriage, he'll get in that girlfriend. She mm-hmm. can still be uh, submissive, feminine, mm-hmm. and cheerly him in a girlfriend stage and in a wifey stage. Mm-hmm. So that's what we naturally yeah. want, right? 
The other thing is that why men really don't think about marriage like that in the West and mm-hmm. in, 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 in the United States is because 80% of divorces are initiated by women. And when women have a college degree, it goes up to 90%. So it's like, why... Why would we be really trying to get married when I could get, we get married, she'll take half. Mm-hmm. Most of the alimony and everything mm-hmm. goes to the woman. Mm-hmm. Usually the woman wins the kids and get everything mm-hmm. in the house and all that. So it's like, they just ain't really looking that's, to get married. That's where it comes into like the divorce thing. I don't believe in divorce. So if I'm yeah. getting married, I'm not. Get, I'm putting you in debt. I'm putting both of us in debt so we don't divorce. That's a trap for me because I don't do divorce. So if a man thinks of divorce, to me, that's not my man for me. I would never marry you. Yeah. Because I can go through whatever. Like I said, women, it depends on what you can go through and what you can't. In general, any any person. Like like I said, if a man cheats on me in marriage, honestly, I can go through that. I can, you know, put up with that. I can fix that. But if a man's acting like a bitch, I can't fix his characteristics, his characteristics because I'm not going to change him. That's not the man for me. That's not the man that I want. If you aren't the man that I want, why would I marry you? Why would I yeah. try and change you? That don't make no sense. I get that. Mm-hmm. Um, and what about any questions, Mother Russia? Oh, you want to ask my opinion? Because well, no, no, not on this. So the question is, the question? Um, uh, what's one thing that you want to know about the opposite sex? How a male species acts or wants in 2023? Because y'all keep speaking on like generalized, like. From back then type shit. No, it's not from back then. It's no, still now. It, it's now. Yeah. It's very current. Like, it's so simple. Mother I Russia, guess, everything your like, baby not, father wants, we all I'm want. I'm not in the average, like, circle. I Like, okay, this is the average thing. They all might agree on something. I want to be in a polygamy relationship. <laughs> it's not no, oh, me and you. Like, it's all polygamous is called polygamous. Uh, all right, like, so you okay, have we get it. so you with other men or you and him and train. multiple girls. Me and another girl. Oh, okay, That's which okay. is so okay, but you still say. have to be. Even though you want you and another girl, a man still don't want another man as strong as him. Like I don't want, I don't want to be like yo, I'm gonna knock this nigga out. You gonna be like nah, I'm gonna knock this nigga out. I'm like yo, her babe, like relax, like I got this. You, so get you know what I'm saying? What he's saying he's speaking about <laughs> how relax. you behave. So he's saying. So, so even though yes, I get what you're saying. You could bring whatever you want you could tell me you want 15 girls in a relationship but if you sitting there whipping your shit out the same time i'm whipping my shit out it's not going down it's not going down like that yeah pretty much he's saying that like, like yeah, a man wants that. his opposite it's a yin and a yang i want the whole if 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 if, if, like if i'm going to protect you i don't want you to be like nah babe i got this like what's up like we about to yeah i like if you don't go in the car and sit down i got you like you better make sure that nigga don't knock me out what are you going to get knocked out that's what i mean anyone else I've been knocked out by a nigga Like I'm from New York Damn. And what award did you get for that? A nod on my head <laughs> my nigga. What we try to say Let's is, move on to yeah, uh, Raina uh, Raina um, What's one thing you want to know About the opposite sex? Um, damn That's a difficult question Because I don't <laughs> She said I hate y'all <laughs> I'm all about me You don't want to know nothing yet So it don't mm. really matter mm. Mm. Yeah, like I, I said, really it's a that's a narcissistic it's trait to <laughs> have to labeling. always be. Thi- I'm not saying you're narcissistic. I'm saying that's a narcissistic, uh, yeah, narcissistic mind frame to have when you're always like self centered. It's not. I wouldn't consider it self centered. I feel like it's it's about self care and a woman who's out there looking or seeking for a significant other or a substantial relationship. She's not out there like putting so much time and effort figuring out what men are like. So think about this, right? I'll give you a quick analogy. Not even an analogy. What if men operated how you think, right? We wouldn't receive sex. Say if I was like, oh yeah, you know what? We we millionaires. We millionaires, bro. But we sitting at our mom's house eating Cheetos, Mm -hmm. playing video games. Mm -hmm. We won't get what we want. You feel me? We won't get sex. Y'all not no, satisfied. We're not desi- we're, not we wouldn't satisfied. be desirable mm-hmm. to the opposite sex. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So your mind frame will keep you single until you die. Because <laughs> if, think about it. I don't know, it. I don't it know about that. I've been in relationships. Will. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a relationship girl, so okay. I don't really know about that one. But think about it. About order, <laughs> it started, this, this, all of this started, right? And I'm not saying this to <laughs> get on you. I'm just not even speaking about you. Like in general, any woman that is like self-centered, any man that is self-centered, he's not going to get pussy because he's only thinking about himself. Well, I like Cheetos. I like video games. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, she's beautiful, but 
I don't really care. I like cheese. I like video games. This is what I'm doing. You're just like that dude. Like, well, me, no, me, 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 me. Oh, you're... niggas? Yeah, I don't really care what they want. Yeah. Me, 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 me. Yeah. No, so because I already... What I'm... No, it's no, a Yeah. Different. So it's what a... I'm saying is that... Uh, no. You chop her down. No. Is that... yeah. Because you're not understanding my mental frame at the end of the day. Your mental frame is about yourself, sweetheart. Because you're la- You're trying to interpret what I'm saying. If you want a man, you should understand the what man's the man wants. mental frame. Exactly. Not about your mental but frame. You're asking you me, what that, do right? I want to know about a male? And but, I said nothing. But in order for us to get pussy, we have to understand what but y'all are. I already know. Oh, my bad. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> you, you don't I know. Do so know. look, look I, I'll explain that, it for you. Right? So, you know what? Right. 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 Let me, let me <laughs> break right. it down. Hold Hold no, no. One mic at a time. Let her go. Let me break it down. Let Raina go. Let me break it down to you. The reason why I am the way I am is because I've experienced whatever it is that I experience, and I know what I want in a man. So me sitting here is... Oh, what does a man like? I know what a man likes. Oh, how do I get a marriage? I know how to get a marriage. I got into one. That's, oh, you've how been to get before? into Yeah, I said I was in a marriage. Okay, so you was married before, so but how to get who, into who, who divorced too? I divorced. Okay, so then it didn't work. So think about it. So you it, got but, with the wrong nigga. Okay, but so we're that not means, talking no, 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 about listen, no, no, break it down. The, the you got with the wrong nigga. Because you chose that wrong nigga. You chose the wrong nigga because you wasn't thinking about what he wanted. That's that's one thing. So think about this. If you really thought what men want in you, then that would also make you think about the guy, right? But so you then don't. you'll choose a better guy. Then not only that, you'll operate, you'll acquiesce your behaviors, I your mean, femininity, I your understand. your 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 you know your behavior to what that guy wants. So you can not just attract them. You you'll attract many men. It's a lot of dudes that hit it, but they'll hit it. Will they wife you? That's a different story. And then got to think about it. The guys that you attract, will they be the guys that you'll actually be in a long-term relationship with? Mm -hmm. Like, will you actually attract the men that you'll genuinely love, respect, and admire? Mm -hmm. You'll attract a lot of niggas that will hit it, but will you really attract the men that you genuinely love, respect, and admire? That's the thing. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand, but I... I wouldn't say that, you know, like your perspective about it applies to me because you don't really know the entire situation as to why I left. No, yeah, um, I'm it wasn't, it wasn't, you know what I yeah, mean? I'm it not wasn't, speaking I'm speaking it, you know, like some people leave for different reasons and sometimes it's unfortunate. So you can't really apply everybody's situation to everybody. It wasn't because I did anything wrong in the relationship. I'm not or, talking about you. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Obviously, he I'm just saying. wasn't the man that you thought that he was because you divorced him. It's, it's, exactly. Yeah. But it wasn't because, oh, like I was looking for something different or anything like that. But what I'm saying is that in terms of what I want in a man, like the question, like referring back, going back, referring to, back the, to the question. Yes. Exactly. Um, I don't I already know the things that a man wants. So I don't really need to ask those questions at this point in my life. Yeah. So I get what you're saying. Right. And I understand you. I'm not knocking you for how how your mental mind frame is. You get what I'm saying? The reason why I'm not knocking you for that mental mind frame is because there are men. You're always got your DMs is full. If you post a picture up online, you're going to get a lot of male attention. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm not knocking you. I'm actually trying to help you out here. So your mind frame is the way it is, is because you get a lot of attention. No, actually, I don't. Well, 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 well. I would I would I would disagree because you don't really know me. So I mean, it's you're, a well, well, the facts is that I'm a I'm I'm a guy well above average. You get way more attention than I get from the opposite sex than I get from the opposite sex. That's just a fact. But we it's don't. a statistic out that even <laughs> this different. is the facts. Right. They did a study on Tinder. An average man. Uh, no, an average woman gets more attention from gets more attention than the most top tier men. So Drake. So you could take one of y'all. I'll take Bridget. Bridget versus Drake. Bridget will get more male attention than Drake will get female attention. Like, actually, a, a, like, actual uh, attention. Know. Not really. Actually, <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't you, agree with that. <laughs> you may think that, but Bridget can literally walk outside and have sex with anybody she wants. And all of you ladies can as well. Drake, nah, she, she, they gonna be like, well, you know, uh, you take But he had to Drake. become Drake, Drake to get that, though. He you had to become saying? Drake to be in try. order to get that. Drake even had to become something yeah, to, to, get to even get options. What she Bridget, got on the regular. They just Bridget. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. You feel what I'm saying? Bridget facts. is Bridget. And she's getting all that attention. So think about what I'm saying, right? I understand your mental mind frame. Your mental mind frame is like, I don't really care about niggas. I know the type of man that I want. And, you know... 
uh, if he's out there, I'll find him. I'll, I'll attract no, I won't that. Find him. him. He'll find me because females we're not the seekers. The men are. Well, Yo, what, what, can whoa, I ask whoa. that question? Huh? I want to. I, I really want to ask that question Wait, too. When we're it comes not. To that. We're but not we're the ones out there like oh hunting and messaging no, guys no, 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 and no, no, in no, their no. DMs looking for right. love and no, they're messaging us. They're inquiring yeah. for us. They want to take us out. Exactly. So we're then, not talking so about then that now, though. If now, if in the in the in the yeah, dating game, you're proving a point even further. In the dating game now, okay, now the guy that I'm you know that's courting me, okay, now may I consider him depending on different qualities, et cetera, et cetera. Now that's different. But in terms and every man is different, so it just depends. You know, so Brandon, just in case you ain't know, that's you on the phone that we're passing around with four hundred and seventy six likes for a person who's saying, I don't get no attention. <laughs> you got 476 likes you, so, so think about this right But that's recent so, no, no, You don't no, know no, Raina, my past I'm, I'm kind of <laughs> Y'all cups How did y'all find that Raina <laughs> Raina That was fast That was fast So, so look <laughs> Shay Slick so, so look You have 478 oh, likes no, on a, It's a regular picture of you In like a mall it looks like yeah. Right, but you're in the mall. Yeah, right? I'm in the mall. Oh, that's that's cute. cute. So, I like that pic. Cash so, oh, yeah. So a man, that that mm. uh, a man, in order for him to get, a, an average man wouldn't get that. You get what I'm saying? And not even a top tier man wouldn't just get those likes. He got to like accomplish something to get that. But, yeah. <laughs> so, so, yeah, and Kev right now is showing Kev right now is showing the picture. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Just, Keep it concise, hey. so the, average. The, the camera won't know it's going back on. <laughs> Kev right now just showed the picture of an average guy that got like 33 likes. And now he's he's actually above average. He looked like he was over six foot. <laughs> you kind of yeah. He's like yeah yeah. yeah that's a well above average man. He got 33 likes. He's what six foot three. Um, he makes well over six figures, and he only got 33 likes. Hmm. So it's, he's a well above average man, and he got 33 likes. But. But are you saying it's not not to cut you off? But are yeah. you saying because he has thirty three likes that we not in his DMs? That's no, I'm no. Pretty the sure point, that lady bitch is still in his DMs. That's not the point. The point of this, right? All I'm saying is that the reason why. I, I, let me finish what I was saying, mm -hmm. and then I'll get on to the next question. We'll wrap it up. The point that I'm trying to make is that, Raina, you get you have this mental mind frame is because you get a lot of attention. So you're able, right? You're so since you get a lot of attention. You have an abundance mindset. And then with you, since you have an abundance mindset, and then not only that, you're not inadequate. You're a businesswoman. You you accomplish things. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. since you've accomplished things, then you are, you're going to disqualify guys that didn't accomplish things. You're going to mm -hmm. disqual, you have a high intolerance of male inadequacies is what I'm saying. You get um, what I'm saying? I so don't since, agree. If you don't have a high intolerance of male inadequacies, then you wouldn't have divorced your husband. You would have just kept him. It, like you don't know why I divorced it, it. It could be for anything. It doesn't even matter. You, it if does you did, matter. It, no, it doesn't. Come on, it's a crazy world. No, it what matters. I'm telling you is that you were in town. Don't expose him now. It's a crazy world. We're not going to okay. expose him. But no, we're not. It's a is, crazy world, bro. Let's, let's keep it matters. It, on topic, right? it matters. <laughs> what I'm saying is that your mind frame is very self-centered and it's okay. Go ahead. You live your life. The world's your oyster. You'll still get a lot of male attention, but... There's two types of attention. There's sexual attention, and then there's relationship attention. You want to focus on getting relationship attention. Obviously. And, and think about it. In order to get relationship attention, who holds the key to relationships? Men. So you have to know what that man wants in you. You get what I'm saying? It, it's you. It's there. You won't <laughs> get it. I won't get you sex. Get it a you bit. hold the key You're to smart. sex. You, you, it's it's going to connect. You hold yeah, it, All smart. women hold the key to sex. <laughs> so in order for us to get sex... We have to know what you ladies want to a degree in order for you to be like, okay, come in, Poppy. In order for the vibes to just happen, we just have to know. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that if you really want to get what you want, your ideal man, just start thinking about what those men want in you instead of thinking about what you want in them all the time. Um, but we'll move on. You, any questions? Do I have any questions yeah, for them? I thought you had a... Uh, I thought you had something before you left out, no? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to ask... Yeah, you did have a question. My thing is, okay, so like, and this is no fugazi, so we're going to keep it all the way honest. Men date. Men date. They don't put all their eggs in one basket. We date. And in order for us to know what we really want, we have to see the qualities in different females. We date. Why do females, my question, put all their eggs in one basket and don't consider getting to know genuinely... 
dating to get or to seek what they're looking for? I'll answer for you. Women prioritize uh, quality. Men prioritize quantity. That's why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So okay. men. So it's high, the high pergamous nature within women. Okay. They're always going to look for the best. So that means that they're looking for quality. Got you. The but they don't know nature, what they don't know what the best is unless they get to know. That's the thing. Well, well, not not only yeah, not not to them, but yeah, to, not to, to, they don't even care about knowing what the guy wants. Because you got to think about it, right? But they how do you always, know if I'm the best if you don't know me? Hmm. Does it matter? Yeah, because of my stature, it don't even matter to them. Think I, about I, it. I disagree. Well, how can see, you disagree? I, I'm on your side you now. I want to know that now. You don't give a freak about what these niggas want. Has it and they see it. Because the, yeah. what he's trying to say is y'all won't give me the chance or uh, average guy the chance to get to know them because he doesn't have a stature or a certain limit. No, you know that's not I mean? true. Because, I mean, I'm the type of woman that I give I give the benefit of the doubt. To everyone. So, how did that work out for you? Um, what do you mean, how did that work out for me? How did it work I'm, out for you? Now, like, I'm at an age now know. where how I'm... How old are you again? I'm 29. Stop giving the benefit of the doubt. No, first no, of no, all, no, let no, me no, finish. No, listen, if, no, you, no, if you give no, the benefit of the doubt, you that's insanity. Because you you've been doing listen. it and it didn't work. So what you, you keep doing, doing the same it? thing, I was in a 10-year relationship. Insanity. What do you mean been doing it? I, I got well, in a relationship at 21. I was a young girl. <laughs> so now my morals and standards as a grown woman is changed. So in, in that sense... <laughs> No, I've been in two relationships, but in that situation, in that situation now, like, obviously, like, you're saying, okay, <laughs> you're saying, okay, um, you're dating a woman and you date multiple women, so you don't put all your eggs in one basket, and now the dating, the mature dating world is the same way for a woman, too. Like, a mature woman is not going to mm. put all her eggs in one basket. She's... I. I personally, I, I date, right? And I go on multiple dates with multiple men and I sit there and I listen and I, and I see, okay, what do you have to offer? You disqualify the bad ones and, and qualify you know, the and good I, ones. It's not about bad or good. It's whatever we, if we're compatible, if we have chemistry, there's many aspects. So it's not about, oh, disqualifying. That's the same thing. It's bad or, it's it's bad or good. It's not, yeah. oh, what's bad yeah. or good. It's what's, it's, it, it could be good for somebody else. I'm not saying that what's good for, what's it not good for me. It ain't good for you, so it's bad. Yeah, yeah but I'm not saying it's <laughs> not good. Good. It could be good for somebody else. It's yeah, just not but, good for yeah, me. Yeah, but someone else doesn't matter. <laughs> if I'm but going on a date say. with you, if I'm going on a date with Raina, right. then I want to know what qualifies for Raina. Next question. Yeah, let's go to the next question. Right, he next he question. mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. So I'm just saying. I have a daughter. She's ten years old. I see what's going on in the world, and I see a lot of women with certain mind frames, mm-hmm. and they'll end up old with no kids or with kids but with no man Mm -hmm. unhappy on depression and anxiety medications and you know really not living a good life but it's so crazy because life is easier much 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 easier for a woman than it is for a man you could definitely get what you want all of you ladies can get your ideal men 100 percent. 100 percent. you just gotta know what he I wants in you. What he wants in you. It's that easy. You know how hard it is for us to get sex from a girl? It's extremely hard. It's from we want. I was just telling the grape, like, it's really easy. Like, I'm in a profession where bitches really be just be giving it up. You no think reason. that? They're still selective. So it's so selective. You think we want that no, pussy? Really not. You think we want that box? Do you think we want that? They are. They we don't. We don't want to pay for but sex. It's a hundred dollars. What if a man don't you have? You see how cute I am? You think I'm about to pay for sex? Instead of like. Doing that? But, no, know. I'm not paying for sex. I'm yeah, a handsome no one, ass man. No one is. He's handsome. For he's handsome. <laughs> We're not paying for sex. <laughs> Just making it clear, nobody's paying for that. Yeah, no one's paying for a box. Yo, listen to me though. Yeah. Listen to this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care how bad the girl is. No one's paying for box. For sex. No. We're gonna let these last thirty minutes. No, you don't I want it to be fun. Be please. fun. Yes. But it's yes. still gonna be <laughs> difficult be questions. Okay. Okay. Do you think a woman's sexual past matters? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um, elaborate. Why? Um, I've explained this to a couple people before. Um, I feel, uh, um, I just don't think a high quality woman lets all like a lot of people have access to her. Um, you know, a, a good example. Yeah. Um, everybody. Anybody can go out and buy a coach or a Michael Kors bag. You have to be invited to buy like an Hermes or a Birkin bag. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like not everybody has their hands on those. Yeah. 
That's just it. Yeah. That's it. Good analogy. I That's like that. It. Um, what about you, Bridget? Uh, do you think a woman's sexual past matters? Yes, I do. I believe that it it can jade the relationship, you know, getting into one. They might accept the relationship and they might continue and maybe take some time and invest in it. But I think ultimately it will jade the way that somebody treats you. Do you, you think know? that it would jade the way that she treats someone else? I think so. I think that she she may have not the best views either on men because she's experienced too much, maybe too much of the bad and too much of the good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get that. Uh, What about you, Raina? Do you think a woman's sexual past matters? Yeah, absolutely. Can you just put the mic more to you? Sorry. Yep, absolutely I do. You you can elaborate too. Um, I feel like in general, I feel like um, someone's past really relates to you in many ways because you're sharing that intimacy, um, that sacredcy, like with someone else. So mm-hmm. I feel like it really does matter, you know, in that sense. But that's all I have to say. Cool. What about you, Mother Russia? I so like on a general yes, but like for everyone, no. Like, not everybody really cares about that shit. Yeah, the niggas that want to hit it don't care. No, like, they, I've I've known people that literally were whores and are in faithful relationships right now with men that know they was whores. And they're, like, literally set and good and been together for five, six years now. Like, they done started a family and she's not a... She was publicly known for fucking yeah. bad niggas. Dang, yeah, well, I mean... She did give an a, exception to the rule. Yeah, she gave a, she it's, gave a general like saying, answer. Generally... Then, yeah. Yeah, but and then she gave the answer based off of the small of her portion. actual experience. Yeah. Cool. And what about you? Um, I would say yes, only because of like you never know what that person might have been traumatized by sexually. So I feel like that's really all that matters. Not body count, but what has that person been through sexually to make them like who they are in the bedroom. Okay. Cool. In the um, bedroom only? Yeah, because we talk about sex, so we talk about bodies. Yeah, sexual past. Now we're gonna start with you. And does a does a man sexual past matters? A man no. that slept with a lot of women. Not you know? for <laughs> not, unless he got a uh, you know STD type shit. No, it don't Duh. matter to me. As long as you experience in some type of way to where you know how to cater to my body, I do not care what you've been with. What I let, as long as you got no STDs, we good. Care to my body all you want. Move the mic to say yes and no Only for the simple fact that like If you don't fuck everybody I know Like yeah nah It matters From it's the people dub. that you know Yeah depending on Brooklyn is big but it's small like. <laughs> Got you So is PA <laughs> Okay What about uh, you right now? I think it matters um, Can you move the mic just a little closer to you? Sorry um, It matters And the only reason why I say it matters Is because I feel like you know, some people have weird tendencies and you don't want to just allow just, you know, people in your life or in your space or in your body, you know, who have past like that, just, you know what I mean? Like to interact with you. So I think it really matters because it's just, it just shows who you are as a person and how much you value yourself. So. What about you, Bridget? Um, I think, I think it matters, but I don't think it, it's a bad thing. I think it just matters in the fact that you guys, the two people are on the same level in a relationship or, you know, learning from each other. But I, I don't think it's it's a, ter- a bad thing on the man's perspective. Okay. And what about you? Um, I agree with what you said. Like, I don't really care as long as, like, you wrap it up and you don't have, like, an STD or, like, like, um like HPV or something like that. You know what I mean? Just be safe. Yeah. That's what's going to matter. It's, it sure will. Yeah. That happens, that's what's gonna yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Now another question um, starting with you. Okay. Um, I don't like how he answers these questions, this podcast. Wait, what? Like, Usually you ask us questions like too. serious questions. You know what you mean? Usually you, you be asking us questions too, but it's all right. Oh, the guys? No, 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 nigga, you co-hosting. If you want a question. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. I'm joking. Niggas, we already know. Uh, so, uh... No, what does it matter to y'all? Oh, well, okay. Or a female or, or a male? Just in general. Absolutely. 
Oh, so a both female. And, both ends. A female, definitely. What about males? So male? Males? We'll get uh, into that. I, I'll say something on that. Mm. Uh, a question for you. Um, you said it. Let's just go with what you said. That's what I'm saying. Because it was going to get on that anyway. So just make it more direct. Right? You going to so, agree with Raina? No, no. We're going to go on what she said. So you said that, uh, I think you were the only one that said that as, uh, a man's sexual past does matter. Yeah, absolutely. Got you. So she's the only one. So let's take it there. Okay. So um, would you date a guy that's, and we're going to go around. I got you. Would you date a guy um, that's a virgin and take him seriously? Um, to be honest, like I wouldn't even ask those questions. Like, well, what if you, you know, I mean, you, obviously you'll know that he was a virgin if y'all get down to it and he nut before he even put it in. Um, <laughs> that's, right? just, right. that's just a different type of question. Do you think about it, bro? Okay, so it's no. All right, so on. look, that was one of my favorite. We're all this, having fun. It was like on my Come list. On, you no, it was like on my list. Like, the I got opposite of guy everything. A virgin, like, on some uh, shit like I want to see how he moved. Like a nigga took my virginity. I want to take a nigga virginity. He got he got nut so before he funny. get in. You a boy? I remember that's what I won't ever you do it again. Have fun. You a coy? I won't you're, ever you're do it again. Goy. I'm good. Yeah, it's gonna Niggas be it's gonna be like crazy. one two strokes if he do get it in. He ain't never feel nothing that moist and hot before. It's, he's over for him. Nope. Then again, what about you? Would you ever would you take a guy that's a virgin seriously? <laughs> Negative. I've been with porn stars at this point. I can't do that. Okay. Would you take a guy that's a virgin seriously? Take him seriously. Yeah, a guy that's a virgin. At this age, probably not. Okay, would you? Damn. Okay. For so, real? Y'all really feel that way? So now here's here now now we're gonna make a statement here. <laughs> I had, I think, I had a I nigga that I wasn't a virgin that still not once I touched it. I can't do that. Yeah. So here's a statement here, right? So from what she said, to give you a perspective, right? You still want a guy to be experienced to a degree. So yes. that means that you don't really care about his body count. You care about it to a degree, of course. Like, you're like, well, I don't want him. Like, you said one thing. You said that, well, if he hit one of my friends or I know the person that he hit, he hit like all these girls I know. I don't really want that because then I don't really feel like I have a prize because everybody else, then I know these girls that had them. And you won't want that, right? Yeah, but if he didn't hit those girls that you wouldn't know, you wouldn't care if his body count was 100. You'd be like, all right, cool, whatever. Mm. Yeah, you wouldn't care. You wouldn't care because you, mm -hmm. I'll, here's a statement. I'll make this statement. In order for a guy to have sex, he has to do something right. He has to do something right because it's hard for men to get sex. Here's a statistic. One in three men between the ages of 18 and 30 is either uh, celibate or haven't had sex in a year. There's no virgins and that's a woman that's 18 to 30. There may be a few of them in America, but it isn't 33% of women. <laughs> that's literally 33% of men between the ages of 18 and 30. And that's a statistic. You ladies can look it up. So since it's difficult for a guy to get sex, right? All the guys that you're attracted to, your ideal man, he been clapping cheeks. He's He has a, a, a higher body count to a degree. You get what I'm saying? Because he has to... Uh, it, it's, it's trial and error with men. That's how we learn. I'm going to give you the male perspective, right? Like when we were younger, nah, we was failing all the time. But as we get older, you know what I mean? We learn from our mistakes. We know like, okay, not to do this, not to do that. Okay, we got to work on ourselves, not to say this. You feel what I'm saying? Like you'll disqualify the guy even if he meets your standards. But if he says the wrong thing, you'll, ugh, that turned me off. Like, yeah. you know, you have those triggering words and they can say something. It's just like, ah, ah no box for you. He said cunt. Yeah. So what like I'm that saying word. is that uh, you actually are naturally attracted to the guys that have a high body count. That's the that's the statement I'm making. Um, but on a man, we're opposite. Yeah, I now, just don't ask know. Us it. the question: Will we date a virgin and take a virgin seriously? Heck yeah! No one been with her. She's pure. What? She's pure. <laughs> She's inexperienced. I could show that virgin the world. Everything. With a girl with a high body count. She done been everywhere. You can't be satisfied easy if you know a nigga, you know, had you at a certain point. Like, like say if you if you had a threesome, if you had a threesome with two niggas, you think that one nigga is going to satisfy you if he have, you know, mm -hmm. he don't have experience like that? Yes. Yeah. Women, women <laughs> look for a man that has a future. Totally with that. Uh, women look for a man that has a future. Men look for a woman that doesn't have a past, mm -hmm. meaning that men like ex a man to have experience mm -hmm. and uh, 
Well, women want a man that has experience, yeah, and a man wants a woman. Men don't want men. Yeah, yeah. with men. Man, a man wants a woman that doesn't have experience. We look for inexperience while you look for experience. Like I said before in the mm-hmm. beginning of the podcast, attraction literally isn't symmetrical. It's all asymmetrical. It's like the opposite. And when you start to understand this about just human nature, you'll be able to, then you'll be able to know that first or second question I asked, you'll know what the guys that you want, one in you. Because it's literally the opposite of you. Mm-hmm. Everything that you do, he want the opposite. Everything who you are, the opposite. Your mindset, it's the opposite. It's literally the opposite. And that's generally speaking. Of course, there's an exception to the rule, but usually you're not even attracted to those feminine dudes, those dudes that's broke, those dudes that really don't, that's indecisive instead of decisive, those emasculate men, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, any can takes I, can on I that? piggyback? Yeah, go ahead. Of course, we know you want to. <laughs> no, because I no, feel like... We, know, we, we expected yeah, it. Yeah, because I feel like mm-hmm. in terms of like... Because your situation is different from everybody. Not else. me. I just, you know, I Better understand rock. everybody has a perspective, but like in terms of like sometimes people, like men have sicknesses and they just love sleeping with a lot of women. So like I don't feel like that. that's somebody that... You know, I myself well, as a woman. An that's what I'm saying. Like in terms of like, oh, like now he's like he's just nasty out here in the street. Regardless if he slept with my friends or not, he's just sleeping with anybody and anything. Like that matters. Yeah, that's an extreme. That matters. I'm yeah. sorry. So I don't. It's not about oh the amount of bodies. Like if you were in relationships, you tried. You know what I mean? That's different. But now you're just sleeping with anything, anywhere, anytime. Like no, I don't again, want that. But, still, but then again, the question the- is, how do you know? And not even how you know, even when a man is promiscuous, like what we're talking about right now is a promiscuous woman versus a promiscuous man. It's much different because like I said, the man has to do something right in order to get sex, which means that if he's doing something right and he's having sex with a lot of women, he's expressing his value. The woman, if she, since it's easy for her to have sex, if she's having sex with a lot of people, she's doing something wrong. She's devaluing herself. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, obviously. So it's the opposite. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, but there are women out there that don't, you know, they just don't care and they'll sleep with anything, anyone, anytime, any place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Them and hoes. Niggas still gonna hit it. Yeah. yeah. Not going so, and then, you know what I mean? So, exactly. So it's vice well, versa. That's why I say it matters. I don't want to date, a, I don't want to marry a hoe. Like, well, the difference is. You know is, what I mean? No, I'm like, sorry. Like, granted, and, and this is just the general. Men don't get offended when y'all call us dogs. So if, if I be like, Yo, you a dog. He gonna be like, I did what I had to do. If I go to y'all and I be like, you a hoe, y'all get offended by it. Like, you get what I'm saying? If I be like, yo, you a hoe, right? You're gonna be like, I ain't no hoe. That's not true. I feel like men will get offended too because, for example. Men don't get offended by that. No, for example. That's a a congratulations Let me me give you into perspective. Boom. I dated this guy. I'm I'm telling you, you, it's a congratulations. If you call me that or anybody else that that's not something that we're gonna go home and be like mm, she called me a dog like mm. like if I call you a hoe you're gonna take that to the heart that's you you're gonna take that I'm, oh okay mm. that's you but that's you right. but the reason okay. why I say that is because let, let me put a realistic situation right boom there I was, was a hoe <laughs> am I not and I'm admitting it I won't take it back cause I did this shit <laughs> I can't so All boom right. there was this guy go ahead do it right. then we gonna move on to the next yeah. Yeah, whatever. There was this guy or whatever, and and like he had a past or whatever. Just speaking of Mike Moore. All right, my bad. He had a past or whatever, and um, pretty much like I found out his true identity, and he was out here just you know fucking whatever it is, what it is. Um, and um, in that case or whatever, like you know, I told him about himself, and he felt really bad about himself. Why? Because because he met you a woman. Told him about himself. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You found out. So before you found out, he oh, was he the happiest fuck. nigga in the world. Exactly. Yeah, but not but when, when, when you told he was him. Exposed, listen, let me explain that to you. When he was exposed, that's just a, that's just a man admitting to what you got to do to get to the next point. Like, all right. So if you got me, then you got me. So I have nothing else but to. But to be God. But before you found out, I'm over here, I'm over here, words over here, yeah, it's fun over reality, here. Yeah, but deep down. But when you find out. But deep down, do you think he feels good? But yes, because once once you're done talking to him, he's back to being a dog. I promise you that. Yeah. I, I put that on everything no, I love. No, looking. Because niggas, out, you can't say niggas out here and looking for love? No. <sighs> They're not looking for, for someone for what, to be with? Men want quantity. Huh? Women want quality. Men want, qua- men want quantity. Men want quantity. You get that. They, so you're saying that men out here don't want a, a woman to, to settle down yeah, with? When they, yeah, when they when they 57, they, we gonna get so, there. 
What's we gonna get there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so not like, to say that it doesn't happen now. I'm not saying that it doesn't happen now. I'm so, not saying. So that. then, what are all these memes and all of this? And men are like, they just want to be with the girlfriend. They just want to be with one person. And, and come on, we're living in a different generation. I don't generation. know, what, I don't know what's coming up on your algorithm. No. Entertainment. Oh, not oh, twenty. I just want to understand. I understand. I finally. I get it. Thirty-three still posting that shit. He's still a dog. He know that. Uh-huh. He don't want none of that shit. He just posting it because he wanna he wanna lure that girl in. Like he lured right. me in, he lured that other girl in. That's all it is. That's, that's, that's so the, exactly so then, the all right, then, then, then now we're digging right. into the surface. Like quiet, that's the point. Let's do the Snapchat. Let me do the Snapchat. Snapchat. All right. Everybody. So here it is. It's no Fugazi podcast, right? The only reason why you think that, and you're gonna hate this, but it is what it is. <laughs> But the only reason why you have this mental... I wanted to say before, but it finally snapped. The reason why you have this mental mind frame, because men lie to you, right? Mm -hmm. All men lie to you. Mm -hmm. So you walk this life living the Disney fair. You you literally still think that Santa Claus is real. (laughs) That's, that's, oh, that's, no, that's, that's an pretty much what I'm saying. I don't even believe so, in so, that. No, no, I'm not saying that you believe in Santa Claus, right? <laughs> that's but what I'm saying is that men lie to women because they want sex. So men normally don't tell the truth to women. You're hearing it from me because I'm not trying to smash you. That's why I'm so truthful with you ladies. Mm-hmm. And it seems like maybe I'm disrespectful huh? or maybe I'm like, you know, mean or rude. But I'm not mean or rude. I'm just not trying to have sex with you. That's a fact. But if I was in, you know, my promiscuous face and I wanted to be clapping cheeks, this podcast would be very fugazi. Because I'll be like, <laughs> oh, word? Yeah, you know what? That nigga, you, you, niggas do like a woman's money. We love your income. We love your income. Well, nobody we love ever said independent that. boss women. Mm-hmm. Nobody you know, ever we, said we that. We love mm-hmm. you because, you know, we want you to feel good about yourself. We're never... <laughs> Men that want sex, right? Mm-hmm. Men lie to women because they want sex. And the reason why they lie, because they want to, that's how they acquiesce to you to, in order to make you feel the vibes. You get what I'm saying? Well, not to me. I'm just, I, I'm, to a, you. I'm a servant. No, no. Every woman. To no. you more than every, to you more than them. No, because I, it's, I'm not saying it's happening directly to me. I'm observing men like, doing huh? it. Raina, now, like, Raina, tell me, tell me, tell me. No man is like, oh, I want this, that, and the Raina, thing to me. Raina, 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 Raina. It happened <laughs> directly to you more than them. Trust me. It did. It happened more than you than it did to them, and and off. No, or, or, or it not happened to you. It probably happened to them too a whole lot too. Yeah, I'm but pretty sure. No, not it's in equal. that way. No, but, what but, I'm saying, she, niggas, niggas always but lie I'm not to women saying, to get. Bopped. I'm not saying that men are they directly do. lying to me. I'm saying, and as like a perspective, I see men out there on social media posting this, that, and the third. I'm saying they're posting it. They're lying. Yeah. That, but I'm not saying, oh, to it's me, clickbait. oh, they're doing this to me and this, that, and the. I know. I'm a marketer. I know. Yeah. So at the end of the day, like, you know, like if all these men so, are portraying certain so, things so think out there. think about it, right? What, what's the one, uh, the Instagram, um, what's the one dude? He was big and buff and he was, he used to speak to women, um, Jenks, something Jenks, Derek Jenks. Mm-hmm. So Derek Jenks' entire message was all based off uh, selling females uh, like word salad, like just saying the good old nothings. It's just like that one uh, Instagram he he doesn't post anything but um like uh with messages like like quotes Justin Every, LeBoy Justin LeBoy it's just yeah. like mm-hmm. Justin LeBoy mm-hmm. it's it's a whole lot of things that's just like oh this feel good it, it feels good it feels good it feels yeah. good what i'm giving you doesn't feel good the things that is true normally doesn't feel good that's a fact. you feel what no, i'm saying true. Mm-hmm. this is why this podcast it makes people exists uncomfortable. it makes you uncomfortable but and the reason why I, I could literally sit here and tell you ladies the truth because I'm not trying to smash. Trust me. If we was trying to smash, it would all be like a Derek Jinx or a Justin LeBoy. We'll be like, yeah, yeah, true. That's we'll be fact. talking about sex a whole lot. We'll be talking about like, oh, what's your favorite position? The reason why I didn't ask your favorite position because I do not care about your favorite position. I like the reason the why I didn't dick. ask all these sexual type of things because I don't care. I I like like the <laughs> we don't care. I said Shay. 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 I would have never heard this information. Right. <laughs> when he said we he need him by himself. <laughs> See, because he's trying to hit somebody. Uh, I'm single. That's what it is. I'm still single, so <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he cuffed is. up. So I care he don't. Am Let's I on it? Yes. I, exactly. Hold on. Hollywood I care. Example. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> he don't. And he's going to lie. I'm going to give you the fugazi. <laughs> Let's, keep it, Let's keep it professional. Like, <laughs> so, fugazi. So, ahead. so no, real love, talking. a real connection would make you uncomfortable because you're supposed to get out of your, un- like, your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. That's supposed to make you see love, who yeah. you really 
really supposed to be, like what your purpose is in life. The person that you're supposed to be with is the purpose in life. So why would you guys not find that together? You feel me? Like, that's it. Yeah. Real love, true connection. All right. Uh, next question. Um, do anyone have any last points? Or actually, we're gonna move it over to the ladies. No questions, question. ladies. Any questions? What y'all want to get? Into? What, do, what no do y'all want to get into? Any questions? Cause y'all look tense. I'll leave it up to no. y'all. Y'all gonna get into yeah. something fun or anything? Let's yeah. have fun. Like, let's go. Let's have. Mm. <laughs> okay. We're gonna wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Mm, so, okay. back. Um, let's do last thoughts on the podcast. Starting with Bridget. My thoughts. Yeah, last thoughts on the podcast, and uh, you know stuff like that. What you think about it? Um. I don't know. I I feel that a lot of the points, I feel like I knew them and I understood them before. I don't really disagree with anybody's point of view. Honestly, I saw everybody's side, but there is a certain way that things are happening and they probably will continue to happen. It's just like natural cause, I guess. I don't know. That's all I got. Okay, cool. You had fun? Yeah, I had fun. Would you come back? Maybe. Maybe. Cool. <laughs> What about uh, you, Marissa? Um, yeah, good Sounds podcast. Good. Yeah, you lots like of it? questions. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, yeah, covered a lot about relationships and dating, just like I said. You it said would. Just oh, like you said on, it you would. You told her, but you lied to me. <laughs> come on, you man. irrelevant. Oh. Damn. <laughs> you irrelevant. He want to hit. That's why he lied. Oh. I mean, no, a lot it's of not her. About that. It's, not, it's not even about that. That's we already know. So now we know who you want to hit, who uh -huh. we don't want to hit. That's, that's not right. First, of all, first of all, we're not going to oh. talk about it. It's my right now. We're going to talk about it. Anyway, I love the podcast. <laughs> my turn. Hey, that's my, my turn. homie. Okay, so I feel right. like, you know, everybody, I saw everybody's views and points in the podcast. And I feel like that's the whole reason of even having a podcast or being on a podcast is to see everybody's point of view. You can't always, like, fight your own point and view like, right and not yeah. take everything yeah. personal too you know yeah. that's a big yeah. thing like not yeah. just t not taking it personal yeah. you know like you gotta you gotta especially when we're in a podcast with another gender you have no choice but to see and hear out and listen to the other point of view so like yeah I think I think it was a good we had definitely good conversations good aspects I love it would you come back if y'all don't lie to me about what the podcast is uh, about. <laughs> what did he oh, say? Marissa. What did he tell you? What did he tell you? <laughs> it was not about relationships. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, no. Marissa, would you come back? I think so. <laughs> think so. Okay. So we got a maybe. We got to think so. And if this nigga don't lie to her. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, this nigga. Last thoughts on the podcast. Very biased. Um, oh, yeah. Ask your question. You wanted to ask. debate. It's very, like, one way... Okay, which way you want to make it? We, I spoke horribly about niggas. I told well, you niggas really lie, care. niggas cheat. Yep. How much more yeah, worse yeah. things you want me to say yeah. about yeah. niggas? Yeah. I say <laughs> broke niggas. He threw us underneath all the, the way underneath, all the, underneath the bus. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't throw females under the bus at all. I just said you're hypergamous, I'm which a is okay. So I like my way or no way. So you already okay. know what's up. Like, I couldn't speak my mind fully. You can. Go ahead, I speak your mind. Continue. I have to keep holding the fucking mic, which is not me. Like I feel like I'm... I mean, <laughs> speak, your, speak your mind. <laughs> That's you. No. Speak your mind. You got any last I'll come questions? Back. You'll come back. Me back like on a dolo session. When you ready to cheat, hit my line. I'm not ready to cheat. Um, <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> I'm not ready to cheat. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I might Raina. know a few more things She's not um, that gangster though <laughs> Raina, uh, last thoughts on the podcast Um, I think it was good overall It was a good discussion Um, I think everyone has different viewpoints And like everyone mentioned like As a collaborative, I feel like everyone Is right in their own way Because you don't really know what people experience in their past And you can't just label people According to your situation or your understanding Yes, no um, more facts um, but I feel like Yeah it was over A good discussion I enjoyed it Okay good Would you come back? Yeah why not? Alright cool cool Well Hey ladies and gents That was No Fugazi Thank you for tuning in We out It's been real